30 seconds? Nah, we do it early, man. We're early. We're 30 seconds early. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good uh, weekend so far. Uh, let's. We're going to jump right into this one nice and quick. Um, but before we get into it, I just wanted to do a quick announcement. So I'm going to be streaming quite a bit more frequently, uh, probably three to four times per week. And I'm going to vary the times that I do it so that I can, I know I've got some European people and some people in the U.S. and all, and all over, so different time zones. So I'm going to try and split it up so that, you know, maybe you might miss one because of the time, but I'll, I'll catch you on the, on the next one. So like I did one yesterday, maybe five hours from now, so it's kind of later in the day, and this one's pretty early in the day for me. So hopefully that helps, but we'll see. We can always adjust it later. Uh, another thing is I, all of these, are, all of these uh, streams are going to be edited down and put on the second channel as a Let's Play. So if you can't make it or you, you're only, you know, you're missing bits and pieces, you can catch up on the Let's Play and it's going to be all edited. So any of the boring stuff where you're just kind of running around the map, that's all going to be edited out. Things that are repeating a lot, that's going to get edited out. And you're going to get all the, the good stuff. So don't worry, everything will be up there. So, But anyways, let's uh, say hi to everybody and then we'll get right into it. So Opus, God of Europe, Falcon Hunter, what's going on, man? Opus. Lucas Comas, Stemer, Nathan Wurtz, Kenneth Liu, Hypermapping, Alex Poland. What's up, everyone? Alisura. Oh, I can't pronounce that. I have no idea. What is that? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to. I, I'd have to go to Google Translate to <laughs> to pronounce your name, man. Uh, Deville, Chocolate Butter. What's up? Hi, I exist. Alex Poland, Denise Sawyer. What's up? So uh, let me get you caught up here. I I started this one off already because I know the, the very, very beginning is a little bit boring. And I, I'm trying to skip through a bunch of the, the boring stuff and only stream the interesting things. And like I said, if you want to see the whole thing, it's all going to make it up there. So, But uh, in this campaign, we are using literally the worst character imaginable. So everything is zero. Zero attributes, zero focus points into anything. All the skills are basically maxed out at level 1. So there's zero chance that we can have any useful impact. We're also not allowed to use companions uh, for, for the main party. We can use it for companion parties, but we cannot use them for our main party. So essentially, we're locked in at Stuart, Medicine, Engineering, and Scouting with no skill for our main party. That's just how it is. Uh, <laughs> You may be asking why. Well, because it's a, it's part of the challenge. We're trying to. My my whole goal with this is I'm I'm trying to do two world conquests, and then I want to do a final video at the very end, comparing the two and showing and proving to everybody that builds and skill, you know, uh, picking perks and all this that it's completely irrelevant. You can do whatever you want without anything. Like you could literally do anything without a, any skill. Combat's really hard, but you can still do it. But anyways, uh, Ashutosh, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that, man. And Alex Coupe with the $10 donation. Thank you so much. Why, huh? <laughs> Here's hoping you're well compensated for your tireless, detailed, obsessive work. I appreciate it. Yeah, like I said, the, the whole point of this series is to... Uh, it's it's twofold. Number one, I wanted to have a full World Conquest campaign on the, on the Let's Play channel. So this is going to go up there, and this is going to be one of those things where, okay, you don't have to have anything to, to do a World Conquest. You can do pretty much anything in the game without any skill or any perks. So this is hopefully going to be a, a roadmap for that. Uh, it's still a better build than the actual Hasberg. You're right, you're right, actually. We should probably have negative perks, right? Can we get negative perks? Maybe we're going to go find a, a mod that, that does that. <laughs> That's so funny. Um... Yeah, so at the end, I want to do a comparison video showing the two World Conquests. So it's going to be one with uh, the worst character, and I'm going to do another one with everything maxed out. So all these are going to be 10, all these are going to be 5, and they'll start at probably a start out. I was debating whether starting them out at level 300 for everything or level 1 and just progressing up to max. I'll probably do level 1 and progress up to max and just kind of see what everything is. But anyways, we'll we'll see. But that's that's for the future. Let's uh, Let's jump right into it, so... Uh, did you finish the Herald playthrough? I finished it. It's not all edited because obviously we're doing daily and we got to get caught up on the episodes. But yeah, 100% that, that series is done. I just need to publish the episodes. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to launch into this. And then also launch into the 
I'm going to alternate. This is going to go up one day, and then the next day is going to go Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. So I'm streaming both this and Kingdom Come, and then those are both going to go on the Let's Play channels, and then I'll make a final video once those are all done for the main channel. So yeah, it's, it's all going to be interwoven, interconnected. So if you don't have time or you can't catch all these, you can get the long form on the second channel, or you can just wait for the single recap video on the main channel. It's going to have a ton of editing. It'll probably take me like 100 hours to do those. But yeah, it's going to be good. I, I, I like the, the, the direction we're going with the channel. So hopefully you guys like it. But uh, that's enough chat. Let's uh, let's jump right in. So we are about an hour into the playthrough. So this is about an hour's worth of work. We've got 42 right now, almost a clan tier one. We built up a little bit of a, a, a army here. We've got Imperial Sergeant Crossbowmen. My thought here was to use these guys with their shields. They'd be a little bit more flexible, and they do have maces. So when they go into melee combat, we'll kept capture more prisoners. Uh, they suck, to be honest. I was not impressed with their performance too much. Um, and then we just have some kind of meat shield in the front to, to protect them, but probably going to filter these guys out and get them killed, and then we'll, we'll use somebody else. Who is that person in the photo? That's, that's Charles II. He was the Spanish Habsburg monarch. I think it was around the late 1600s right up until about 1700 and he was he was essentially the the last of the habsburg i, I believe that uh the, the empire really the spanish empire went down significantly during and after his his reign so that's kind of why i used him as a mascot because he's supposed to be awful in real life and then this guy's awful in in Battle lord so it makes sense he's he's a good historical character for us to model this after his chin so small i, <laughs> I couldn't get it any bigger actually i tried but he does, he does have the schnoz, and he's got the chin jutting out a little bit, so that helps. Uh, companions are not allowed for the party roles. No, we can hire companions, but they cannot be in our party. They, they can only lead their own party, or they can be, like, combatants or whatever, so. Alright, let's get back to it. So, we don't have... So this, I took this quest, and I got two wrought iron, the guy wouldn't take them, so I think this quest is broken right now, so don't, don't take crafting materials i think i don't this is the first time i tried it so maybe if anybody's seen that as well but so that one's broken we've done quite a few quests if you see here we made a decent amount of money we've got oh yeah that's another important thing so we've already spent all the money to get the horses we need so we've got max movement speed for foot troops and then uh we still have 12k saved out so we're doing really well actually this is a good start for one hours of work almost clan tier one we've got all this stuff so let's uh let's keep going Gang needs recruits. We could do that one because we have some that we can convert. I don't know if it's really worth it though. Let's uh, let's keep moving. We need uh, we need a couple more quests. Well, not really. We we need a, a little bit more renown. Needs tools. We can definitely do the tools. Well, good day. You may have heard of my chin, sir. That's what we should name him. Honestly, we should name him Charles the Chin. Actually, I kind of want to do that. It's Charles the Second. Charles the Chin, the second. How about that? I think that that's more befitting. All right, we need some tools. Let's go grab it. One, two, three. We'll go drop that off. Probably not even worth our time, but whatever. We're here. We'll do it. We received 18 hardwood. Yay. We'll try not to spend that all in one place. All right, let's dump it because we don't need it. Oh, actually, they only needed one tool. I didn't realize that. Whoops. A very commanding chin indeed. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting, though. I, I think early game, no big deal. Late game might be a tough one, though. I think late game is going to be a tough one. So, but we'll, we'll figure it out. That's that's the, the fun thing about doing challenges like this is you got to be able to adapt, you know, kind of go with the flow. Now, I would love to get a few more quests. Let's go see if Durthurt's around. Spe I was going to say, speaking of Habsburg-like, let's go have a chat with Durthurt. <laughs> Spe speaking of inbred, let's go talk to Durthurt, huh? <laughs> Tournament? We could try it. I mean, we have no combat skill, but it's, it's still doable. All right, we're not going to bet. Actually, we'll bet on the first one because you get really good... Of value for it. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, we already got we already got smacked. Oh, okay. You body blocked us, man. Is that enemy? Yeah, we're red. Shoot this guy point blank. Alright, we gotta stop these guys from shooting at us. Yeah, we oh, okay. Now we... We might be lost. No, we won. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got the long pole arm. This is gonna be interesting. Alright, we got one kill. We'll take it. This thing's got such a long, like, uh, wind-up time. Uh, we need, we need to get our, uh, I was gonna say we need to get our buddy involved. It's gonna be really hard to, to 1v1 that guy. Alright, here we go. It comes down to this. Our tournament lives are in your hands. Oh man, they can't hit anything. You can do it. Oh, we got shot in the face. But he keeps going. That's that's a champion right there. Getting shot in the face and still going. Man, this guy's got terrible crossbow skills. I think he's missed like seven in a row. Finally hit one. Oh, no. He's getting shot. He's shot in the throat right there. Yeah, wow, he's taking a lot of hits. But yeah, I'm too blind men. Okay, well, we lost. Not much we could do about it. The, the team ones, it's kind of a crapshoot. So that's fine. It is what it is. Spoiled noble brat. Yeah. All right. What about quests? Overpriced materials. We'll skip that. Let's uh, let's go tour the countryside. Now we should be picking fights with looters when we see them. That's going to be our best way to get renown at this point. So, and also what I want to do is Soldiers, hold let's give these guys hold fire. Oh. Foot We're going to have them hold fire and just go in. I do want to sacrifice them. They'll probably win, but if I can lose a couple of them each time, I think that's going to be the way to do it. Yeah, they went pretty easily there, but we did lose a few of them, which is good. That's what we want to do. We want to build them down. We already paid money for them. We might as well get some use out of them, so we'll, we'll make money on the way of on, on the way to losing them. Okay. Back to work. Let's go up to Jacqueline. We need to get rid of some of these prisoners, or we could find maybe like a quarry or something, and hopefully they have that quest. Yeah, we should probably do that. Let's see. I'm sh I'm sure one will pop up. As soon as we sell them, it's going to pop up, so might as well just hang on to them. And we do have the Bounty Hunters quest. That one we did earlier. I did this earlier. did pretty well. Let me think. Oh wow, there's already a rebellion. Yeah, we're not even we're we're like halfway through the first year and there's already rebellion. And then the Kazates took this castle up here. I think that's Oh yeah, and then the Empire took Remtoil. So there there's been a few changes on the map. Oh, actually Neviance got taken. That's normally Sturgeon, so Durthert took that. I think that's mostly it. Let's take the bounty hunter. We're, we'll come back and do it. Right, how much time do we have? Nine days. Oh, 30 days. Yeah, that's more than enough. So let's go see if we can find the... Qu oh, there. <laughs> there's the douche. Alright, Mr. Durthert, we'll leave you alone for now. Now, there should be... Usually it's it's like, like a iron mine or a silver mine or... A, what do you call it? The These pits. The clay pit. Those are the ones that usually have it. Yeah, see, manual labors. We've got everything we need for it already. And this one, we're going to tell him to mind his own business. I don't care. I couldn't care any less about this guy's relations. So. We're, we're probably never going to be recruited from these guys anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll take our money. 2,700. That's not bad. So we're almost up to 15. Yeah, slave pits. Might as well call them slave pits. That's true. Uh, we do need to go over here to the hideout. Let's go take care of that. And we're going to use, like I said, we'll, we'll end up using those crossbowmen. And they'll be basically just sacrificial lands. 
We want them to lose, but we want them to lose slowly. We want to still win overall. So we'll hopefully do that. All right, we got all but one. Yeah, so almost everybody's a sergeant here. Archer arrows! Ever put men? Let's actually put them all into one. Just so it's a little easier to, to manage. And we'll let them fire at will. And we're just gonna we're gonna speed this up because there's really not much to it. Oh, <laughs> that was like a, a execution squad. Wow, they dunked on those guys. All right, get up here. The problem with the with the crossbows, especially early on when you have these battles where you need them to do a lot of kills and you can micro them well, the battles last a long time and they just don't have the ammunition to survive. So look at we we're not even past the second stage. We're already half, more than halfway out of ammunition. It's really bad. So for something like a siege where you don't have to worry about ammunition, it's fine. That one melee guy's not gonna do too well here, so let's let's manually move these guys. Yeah, see they're already out of ammo. Wait, did they just... Oh nice, they get killed. Kind of what we want. But we do need a few of them to survive so we can get to the end though. That's that's one thing we do need. Alright, let's uh let's hop out here. Okay, I had. I was trying to turn off the, the freaking pre-X speed. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a special fix for it. Yeah, I screwed that up. Oh, I had I had the high speed on. Whoops. <laughs> That's the danger of using using mods like that. All right, let uh, we lost a few of them. We need to lose more, but uh, let's see if we can do it with a quest. Help with brigands. We can do that. So 550 is much better than what we, I think the last time I did it, they were only paying 300. You best buy. I oh we have to auto resolve this one because we don't have units, but that's fine. We need to keep progress moving forward. And actually, we should keep upgrading our armor as we get it. I don't think we'll buy armor because it's not really worth it. But as we get stuff like this, I mean these are pretty good pieces. But we'll we'll take little upgrades here and there. He needs a higher pitched voice, huh? Yeah, we could do that. Infantry! Yeah! Move to enemy! I'm a life formation! Yeah! Let them advance! Yeah, probably that one. <laughs> well, there we go. Now you get to hear him you get to hear him squeal every time he fights. All right, let's get these bandits. They changed this quest. It's bugged so that they run from you. Before, they would stand still, and you can get them pretty easily, but now you kind of have to chase them down. And if you don't have a bunch of uh, mounts, it's going to be tough. And we have mounts, but the problem is we also have a lot of animals, pack animals, so... Actually, we should probably... Let's offload some stuff. We don't really need any of this. And then we should probably get rid of some of the Sumter horses so that we're not too badly hurt in, in the herd penalty. We don't need a ton of space right now. So let's just go down to maybe like six, five or six. We've got plenty of food. We've got tools in case we get that mission. Oh man, the brig brigand quest, man. I don't know why they changed that. It's, it's kind of annoying. It used to be my favorite one because then when you have big parties, you can still catch these really fast, small parties. Not anymore. It's just auto resolve. If we lose people, it's fine. Uh, we can take some Empire Peasants, which is good. We are using the Empire Troops right now. And that puts us... Uh, we're so close. We got four, four renown to go. Actually, we could, we could just auto resolve these guys as we're traveling back. Let's go back to the Empire area, because we're going to want to probably... Georgian peasant. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll sacrifice him. We'll, we'll probably want to be a vassal for one of the Empire people, so I think we'll we'll stay towards them. 
Wait, are you trying to get cheap troops so you can only auto resolve exploit? Uh, we've got we got some high tier. We're keeping these guys low tier because they're not they're basically just supposed to be a meat shield, but we might upgrade them. Wait, something happened to Tile? I don't know. Whoa, a bunch of people got lost. What happened there? Simnon the surgeon was lost. They they will one of one of the clans died out. Oh, that was probably the rebels. I think that was the rebels, right? Let's see if there's a rebel clan that just went extinct. Uh, eliminated. No, there's no eliminated clans. There's Husin folk rebels. That guy's not dead yet. These guys are all dead, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It's kind of weird. All right, let's keep moving. We gotta, we gotta keep this moving along because, like I said, I, I need to try it. I, I would like to get this campaign started and finished within one month, hopefully, May, maybe less. Just, I guess it just depends on how often I do it, but we'll, we'll see. All right, what do you have? Gang needs recruits. We're gonna pass. Let's go up here. The chin does not feed gang recruits. Help with brigands. Hi. Yeah, we can do it. I mean. You're gonna pay us a couple hundred. 550, that's fine. Let's hope we can even find these guys. Yeah, what I think what we'll do, what we're gonna get to clan tier two as soon or clan tier one as soon as we can. We'll become a mercenary. And then we're just gonna raid the crap out of people. So we failed the crafting material quest because it won't let us turn them in. Yeah. I don't know if it's bugged. I don't know if anybody else has had that experience, but it would not let me turn it in. And this one, let's just auto-resolve. So these small ones, completely irrelevant. Is that an upgrade? No, definitely not. All right, one more. Let's see if we can find, like, a looter group or something. There we go. We're just armless. Hey, oh no, I was going to say, I thought we lost somebody. All right, so we're good there. Let's, uh, we, we're starting to collect some prisoners again. We've got 10. That's probably enough to, to fulfill another quest. So there is an iron mine up here. Let's go see if they've got the quest. If not, there's some other ones over this way we can go to. Here we go. Yeah, they probably have it. Bandit base, that's even better. Or is it? Like, we just, <laughs> we just died from a bandit base quest. You know what we can do? Let's upgrade these guys to tier 3. And then we'll use a couple of them. We'll, we'll take the bandit base quest. Alright, let's go handle that one. Alright, this time we're not going to die. Hopefully. I know, I can't promise that, but we'll try. Footmen! Archers! Warriors! Bows! All right, let's uh let's combine the groups. If you're not sure what that is, it's, you select Hear the one me. you want to move, and then you hit F3, F5. Oops. And then Give them hell. you choose Get which group moving. you want them to go to. Follow We're just going to have them follow, because it's really annoying to have to move these guys. Play or... I don't think... Is it... It Does Wood have it? I don't think Wood has it. I could be wrong on that. I know it's usually the all the, the metals and also the clay, for sure. It could be Wood. I, I don't know that for a fact. There we go, so we're good. We are going to use the speed up function once we're not in combat, because this stuff takes forever. Yeah, they're all the way down there. So there's six left, not too bad. I think the end fight shouldn't be too bad, because they don't have a ton of people here. It'll probably be like five or six, which I believe we can handle. Oh, we're spread Forward. out the wrong way. Let's spread out the right way here. All right, we're going to help a little bit. Not too much. Oh, all right, here we go. We basically just want to block and distract these guys. Uh, we don't want to lose our shield, though. Actually, let's pick up a second shield. Because we will we'll probably lose this one. 
Uh, why run so fast? So we're using the RTS mod to speed up the in-game stuff. Just it helps with um, it helps with the, the the stuff that's real grindy. I'll no mind. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. It's a Sunday, so I know tomorrow's Monday, but you know, make the best of it. All right, here we go. I think this is the last guy. Yeah, take him out. Don't lose so many. Don't lose anybody, please. And then we can deal with these last guys. Oh, he looked like he got. He took one to the nuts. Am I a cheater? What is this mod? Uh, it's a mod. Yeah, it's definitely not a cheat. It's a mod, and it actually makes the game significantly harder if you try and fight with with the speed up. <laughs> so, uh, we're we're not gonna do the duel. We want to fight these guys. Hopefully, we don't lose everything. Okay. We got a block now. We got two shields. Let's get in there. We just want to aggressively stuff their attacks. Oh, just like that. We, we did lose somebody, but it's it's the crossbow man. We want to lose all the crossbow men. And then we can replace them with the archers. Uh, we do have the option to take some of these guys in. I don't know if this is worth it. I think we'll pass. Or you know what? We could take them and we can donate them if we really don't want them. And let's just double check. We've got an upgrade on the shield. And there's probably not going to be too much here as far as upgrades, but might as well check. So 3k, that's huge. We're already at 20k. And we do have plant tier 1 attained, so we can become a mercenary. Now the question is, who's at war with who? Uh, Morpheus Hill, sorry, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i try and catch up on questions once in a while. The, the, so just so you know, I'm not ignoring your guys' chat. I'm trying to do these in a way that it's easier for me to edit later into Let's Plays. Like if I'm doing chat every two seconds, plus the gameplay, um, it's really hard for me to listen to it and edit it later, so what I'm trying to do is like do it in chunks. Uh, my favorite mods for a stable play playthrough, the easy ones, like the RTS camera, if you can find the right version of it. Um, I like to use better time to speed up the in-game time. And character reloader is really helpful if you want to do some custom stuff, like changing people's uh, looks and things like that. Th those, for sure, I use... Uh, the RTS camera mod, every playthrough I use, 100%, because it cuts out a lot of the, the grindy stuff, like walking through towns. It just there's no there's no value in it so that type of stuff i skip yeah all right i think how do you use banner mods i try using access but it doesn't seem to work try to do the i have a guide if you follow my guide look at my channel for for mod install guide and then follow that that's how i do all these and i know for sure it works because i that's how i do mine i don't use the the steam workshop yet and i i don't use nexus the the i forgot what it's called but they have a one that does it for you. I just do it manually. It's just, for me, it's easier to do. Okay, so let's get back to it. What was I going to say? So we're looking for kingdoms that are at war right now. The Northern Empire is not at war. Southern Empire is at war, but they are getting their butt kicked. What about the West? West is not at war, so we would have to do Southern Empire. It doesn't matter because it's just vassal. It's not that big of a deal. So, Southern Empire... Let's head down that way. Charles the Chin gained a level. Not that we can use it. Uh, let's, let's actually get rid of our prisoners. We don't want to... We don't want to slow down. And actually, we should probably... We should probably get rid of some of this stuff. Oops, slide upgrade there. I, like I said, a lot of this really doesn't make a difference because we're not going to be fighting much. But we'll have it just in case. And we already upgraded all this stuff, so let's dump, dump, and dump. Uh, we'll keep the food. Get rid of everything else. 2600. We're over 20k now. Nice. Simp campaign. We're going for Regea. We're going for that simp. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find a noble over here. Now, nice thing for mercenary, you don't have to find Regea herself. You can just talk to any noble, and they'll let you in. Any day now. Oh, you know what? We do actually need to start recruiting more troops. We should probably do that right away. And let's not take... 
the Vizsla. I don't want to spend the money on upgrading the horses. I'd rather already hire them when they're upgraded. Man, they have a lot of Vizsla. The, they're so bad. The Vizsla are so bad. Like, if you do if you do a test of all tier, tier 2 units, the Vizsla come out on the bottom every time. They're so bad. Okay, let's keep upgrading. And we also need to... Yeah, we should probably buy horses as we do this. I don't... I, I really don't want to be super slow. Uh, we also don't want to spend 400 for a horse. So let's... Let's go back to Lycron. And let's see if we can run into a noble at some point. We'll probably need to go to the front line. I'm assuming they're all pulled up there. But either way, it doesn't matter. We're we're recruiting. We're doing stuff. We're making making good use of our time. Now, horses, they do have the Midland Palfrey, so we'll take that. That takes a good chunk of our money, but I think it's, it's okay. It's still worth it. And like I said, we're, we're good on food. Let's hold off on that. Uh, I don't think there's even anybody in the keep, right? I don't think there's... There's no flag there, so probably not. We'd be paying money for nothing. Alright. Let's go to the front lines. At least their front lines. And then we'll start up. Actually, that's a good point. Is it pronounced Vigla or Vizsla? Oh, I don't have any because they're trash. That's right. But if... Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but... You know what we should do? The Caravan Guard. I think we'll keep the Caravan Guard. The former. So Vigla. Okay. Let's get rid of the Sturgeon Peasant. Yeah, you know what? We don't need to deal with peasants right now. Let's just upgrade. We got we got free ones we can hire. The arm trader, those are going to be trash long term. The Vlandian caravan guard, that's fine. We can sacrifice him pretty easily. But let's just let's recruit up a proper army. We don't want to have a bunch of mixed stuff. All right, no nobles in here. Man, they are just like hiding from us. They're like, oh no. <laughs> No, the Habsburg chin's coming for us. Don't hide so that we can't we don't have to hire him. <laughs> oh man. You cannot hide from the chin. The chin will find you. Right, where are you at? Are they all in like jail or something? Alright, so there's a siege going on here. They're probably a bunch here. Now I don't think we can talk to the mercenary to join. We have to talk to one of the armies. This looks like it's falling. Oh, nice. Okay, we can we can talk to somebody here. Oh wow, they let us in. <laughs> they just let anybody in, I guess. All right, let's Who go talk to somebody. You? I am Charles the Chin. Yeah, 160 dinars, not great, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, and at this point, we are begging. Let's head south. What we'll probably end up doing, there, there's a couple ways we could do this. We could just go around collecting bandits and stacking up the influence that way. Or we could go raid villages. I don't know if that's such a good idea against the Kazate, though, now that I think about it. Because they are going to have a lot... They're going to have a lot of cav in their, in their parties, so they're going to catch us pretty easily. But we'll see. I don't know. Uh, somebody asked something about those things in the menu so these these are this is on patch 1.1.0 so these are new specifically to this patch so you can you can arrange your uh your units by tier uh by the type and all, all sorts of stuff so yeah th that's new and then you can you get the counters to tell you how much so you don't have to go through and manually add them up yeah it's a lot easier I think we should we should just go. Oh, okay, we're at war with two people now. There we go. I don't mind doing this. I was gonna say I don't want to raid the the Kazates because they're just gonna spank us, but we can we can definitely we can definitely fight the uh, the other empire. Right, we're just gonna auto resolve our way to success here, because why not? And 
let's go down to Volstrom. I would like to pick up a few more horses, because like I said, we're, we're going to want to have the fastest movement speed that we can. That's going to be pretty important here. Uh, okay, let's dump all this. We don't need it, and they don't have cheap horses, so we're going to pass. Yeah, I don't care what you're passing. Uh, we have to figure out at some point which which kingdom we're going to join. There's a couple ways we can do it. We could stay solo and just do it ourselves. It, it might be a difficult thing to do with with Mr. Chin here. Chin, Chin is not conducive to a solo world. We're just armless travelers. Excuse me. To a solo world conquest. <coughs> so we, we might have to figure something else out. Everyone, right, what we're going to do is let's... Arrows, we're going to send... <laughs> Crossbowmen are going to go in first by themselves. We want them to sacrifice. Infantry, soldier, troops, cavalry, We're also going to send in the cav. Because he's trash. We don't want him as, as well. Alright, so they're, they're dealt with. Now we send in the troops we actually want to keep. So we'll deal with that. Come on! No tactics involved here, we just need to get this thing done. These are uh, trash units. Actually, we can, we can help block. Oh, you got laid out, son. You got laid out. And we probably don't want these guys escaping, so... Oh, look at that, 21 damage. <laughs> Imagine if you stab somebody that, ha that has no armor, and you're so weak that it does... You have to hit him like six times to do any, like, medical damage with a gigantic spear. All right, there we go. So we did lose the crossbow, and we only have two left, which is perfect. That's what we want. Uh, why are you not allowed to organize a specific line of units? So we're, we're allowed to, but we're, I wanted to get rid of these, these crossbowmen, but I didn't want to just delete them because we spent a bunch of money, so might as well. Right, let's... Now, before we do anything too crazy, we do have to get a decent uh, line... Oh, they, they're... They're sieging down Poros. Oh, here we go. These guys are already upgraded for us, so that helps. Actually, we can we can take another archer. And then we'll just fire. Let's just get rid of a recruit. Alright, let's make sure we stay in order. And that works. We could donate them, but it's, it's probably not worth it. Now, help with brigands. Man, again, it's just kind of a pain. So why don't I want the crossbowmen? One one issue I was having with the crossbowmen, uh, I was trying to fight these tier two and tier three cav, uh, the 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 caravan raiding thing, and I, I actually almost lost the the battle because of how bad they were, and we had fairly equal numbers. So there's they they aren't very accurate against moving uh, moving cav, and they only have eighteen shots. So if you look at their if you look at their their loadout, they only have 18 heavy heavy bolts so especially since they're not all that accurate it's just they're not that good and also the crossbow they use is really bad 40 40 skill for the crossbow i believe the bound crossbow requires 70 so it's like twice as good so i i don't really care for these guys and these are even worse imperial crossbowmen 20 crossbow skill these these guys might as well be the sword sisters right it's pretty bad and they fixed the Imperial Platinet guards. They now have two sets of Botkin arrows. I think before they only had one, if I recall. I could be wrong on that, but I think for a while they only had one set. So, and the Step Warbow is pretty good. The the Bukalari terrible. They got a, a thirty skill bow, and they have regular barbed arrows. It's just trash. So we're we're just gonna go palat uh, the Palatine guard. I should have done it. I tried to get fancy and use some, some guys that we could use a shield with so we can get, do some fancy stuff, but it didn't play out. Or it, it didn't pay off. Wait, did we take... We did not take... Yeah, we should probably take that, because we're going to be here Oi. fighting them anyways. Alright, 616. We're make, making a little bit more money for those. Now, we do have to be careful. We're kind of close to enemy territory. Holy crap. That is a big army. We're we're not even a full year in. 
Wow. Kind of cool to see. I like it, but uh, wow. Yeah, if we use crossbowmen this time, I think it'll probably end up being the Vlandians, to be honest. Or I wouldn't even mind the mercenaries, although we can't get the mercenary wage perks. So that may not make sense. So let's yeah, we gotta we gotta stay around here because that stupid quest. If they get far if they get too far away, then the quest goes away. So we have to be able to catch them in this area. Uh probably not worth it, actually. I think we're just gonna move on. We'll let that quest cancel out. I don't really care. Yeah, we need to we need to keep making money because we're we're at the point where party wages are, are actually quite high. I don't care what you do with Husen Folk. You're probably gonna lose it again anyways. Interesting. So I guess you you lose if you go too far. Oh, we're at war with them. Oh, got it. Yeah, because we had we had the quest and then they lost Poros. Interesting. I didn't know that that was a thing. So if you if you have an active quest and then your your kingdom that you're a part of goes to war with them, that that automatically goes goes to a fail. That sucks, man. Like if you spend all that time collecting prisoners and then you got to try and do it <laughs> and then they go to war. Uh, and you know how the AI loves to go to war. Oh, we don't want to get caught by those guys. Okay, Southern Empire is not doing too well here. I have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna get kind of surrounded and sandwiched. Now, the nice thing about being a mercenary is, like I said, we have more options. Like right now, there's not really any bandits to fight, so this this is just this is crap. We're wasting our time. We're we're running in circles. Kind of annoying. So what we should be doing is is finding... Well, here's a looter group. We can at least catch these guys, I hope. Now, Sesta Dame Castle might be able to hold 200 versus 500. Nice Maybe. Pro probably not, actually. Attack! All right, I'm sure you guys can't see anything on this because it's so dark. Actually, no, we need to hold these guys back. Arrows! Hold arrows! All right, let's, let's let the crossbowmen go up there and, you know, do their thing. All right, they're all dead. That's good. Oh, they all survived, though. We don't want injuries. We want them to die. Oh, well. And again, we just want to we get through this pretty quickly. We'll, we'll probably auto-resolve most of these, but... Oh, you got it. Nice. But we lost. Yeah, we didn't lose any of the... the the crossbowmen. Oh, we do have archers in there too, actually. We should probably be careful with that. Maybe we'll just fire them. Yeah, we don't need to be messing around with that too much. Alright, so let's let's recruit up a few more. Uh, what do we need? Oh, you know what we could do? Actually, this one's recently conquered, so 47 there. How many you got here? 20 plus village... Uh, 30 plus 20 villagers? We can do that. So let's recruit... We'll go up over the max. Let's go ahead and upgrade these. So we want to have... I think we want to have a shield wall of at least 10 to 15. So let's go do that. So we've got 10 there. 15. And then the rest are going to be archers. So let's let's do that. And I think we need to... Ooh, the Manavliot's on. They're so good. But we're going to go shield because we're using our front line mostly as a, a holding force. And not necessarily to get kills. So we'll do that. This should be fine. And we're going to take hostile action. We're going to tell them to give us recruits. They're going to ask for a fight. We're going to give it to them. Alright, let's... uh, <laughs> Charles the Chin, you're going to be commander, even though it means absolutely nothing. Actually, you could be commander of the cab. Because we have no perks. You know what we could do, though? We could have a banner at some point. So that'll help. Interesting. Okay, I have an idea. Everybody follow. And again, I absolutely love the RTS mod function where you can speed up battles because of exactly this reason, right? They're they're 200 meters away. It's such a waste of time just letting them, waiting for them to, to run to you. So in this case, we can speed it up. Infantry! All right, let's get our yeah, infantry. Move, move out! right at the base, basically in the water. We want the archers loose formation so they can shoot behind each other or over each other. 
Get and we're gonna send the cab out. You can go, you know, sacrifice yourself, which is what we want you to do. Okay, let's get the shield wall up a little bit closer. All right, let's see how long that cab lasts. He might actually live if he can survive the shield, the uh, the spears. Pick a useless banner as well. <laughs> yeah. We could do yeah, we could do like cav damage and have no cav. That'd be funny. Alright, so we're doing okay. Their shield wall's gonna be coming up here pretty soon, but our our cav is actually doing his job. Not bad, he made it. Wow. And he's he's allowing our archers to get more shots off, so that's good. Alright, let's uh, let's get a good vantage point. Uh, let's let's study this battle, see how our shield wall does. We leave him in shield wall. They seem to be doing okay. More importantly though, they're stuck in the water and our archers are just blasting us from this range. Now we need... I don't want them to go in, into melee range, so let's move them back just a little bit. They're starting to get flanked a little bit, but the flank is okay in this case because it allows our archers to get shots on their flank. So it's fine. Yeah, I think overall pretty successful. We can speed it up now. GG. Don't let the guy get out. Alright, not bad. Okay, they they did it. Wait, did our... Oh, no, our cab didn't survive. Oh, they have... Yeah. Don't worry, boys. I will show you how to fight. <laughs> Charles. Charles never backs down from a challenge. They hit him with our, with our jaw, with our chin. We should call the spear the chin as well. We can thrust our chin at them. Oh, it's so hard to aim this thing because you gotta aim as if you're like five seconds ahead. All right, we got it. The chin, the chin wins. Can we cheer? Yeah, we can cheer on horse. Nice. God, look at that. Look at that chin and that nose. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, you know what? He kind of looks like Bran. Holy crap. From Game of Thrones? Does he? A little bit? Looks like Bran. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Sorry, Bran, but you, you got a Habsburg thing going on a little bit, maybe. Alright, 6.1 renown. See, doing this is way better than fighting bandits. Fighting bandits, we were getting like 0.9, maybe 1.2, at, at, you know, on a, on a good one. So, this is a much better way to do it. You do have to be at war, so. Alright, we got one recruit loss, no problem. And everybody else is fine. We get some prisoners. A little bit of loot, and more importantly, actually, we didn't lose anybody, so we can't really take these guys. Yeah, I think I think we'll just keep it the way it is. Let's upgrade though, and we have the sh we have the shield wall that we want. Wait, actually, did we lose one? Yeah, we lost one, didn't we? So let's put one back into there. The rest go to archers, and then the archer line. We do need to start upgrading them because normally it makes sense to keep everything until you have everybody maxed out in that group but in this case we're, we're gonna upgrade them kind of piecemeal at least up until tier four and then we'll hold tier four because we're gonna be doing some some more uh, i don't want to say sketchy fights but they're a little bit closer they're not like gimme so it, we we do have to be a bit more careful we have to make sure we have a bit a uh, bit more potent uh how we call it a bit more potency with our with our army so this one we can take for sure. 47. Let's let's wait until we get these two people healed up. And then we'll take them on. Uh, our medicine is terrible, so it takes forever to heal these guys up. Alright, so we can hire above the limit because they're going to most likely die anyways. And then we'll take hostile action. Let's have them give us... Let's do recruits again because I think we're going to take more losses this time. <laughs> the crimson chin. <laughs> That's true. We did uh, we did get some blood on our chin. Okay, here is a little bit trickier one, right? Because I mean, there is a little bit of a river, but it's it's very shallow, so it doesn't produce it doesn't really provide much cover or, or or it doesn't really slow them down much. So what I'd like to do is get them into Kind of a bad spot. You know what we could do? Let's go shield wall. Shield forward! Move out! 
Maybe we can do shield wall in this little tight area. And then we can get our archers spread out. I don't know, something like this. Whoa, 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 come on. Go where I tell you to go. Why are they not going? They, I think they changed something because you used to be able to get as many lines as you want and now it like blocks you you can't go too far it's like right now i'm limited to having him in two i guess if i what if we do line formation can we at least get a skinny line yeah we can get one long skinny line that's fine let's just do it like this okay so they're there we can probably move up like this and as they approach if they go after us we can back off and then we can use these guys to flank and we've got our trusty cavalry that actually did a really good job last time, so we'll, we'll keep him. Here we go. Let's see how this works. And it looks like they're going to be taking the bridge. Nice. So actually, what we can do is we can stuff the bridge. Let's go stuff the bridge. Charles the Chin gained a level. <laughs> we leveled up our Chin game. All right, here we go. So they can't really get off the bridge. They're stuck and they're getting flanked. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, I forgot I forgot to use the cab. Let's send the cab. There's only archers left anyway, so it's very safe for him. Yeah, I was clicking and dragging. It limits you now. They, they changed it for some reason. I don't know why they did that. All right, cab, what are you doing, man? Alright, now it's an archer versus archer. Let's let's line formation our infantry and get them out there. Actually, we should probably get in there too. See if we can get these guys to switch to melee mode. Because we don't want to lose too many archers if we can avoid it. Alright, switch to melee mode. Switch to melee mode. There we go. We can use our chin to distract them. Oh, we took a big hit there. Alright, let's get out. Yeah, we don't want to be in auto resolve. We don't want to be in auto resolve to health range because that's going to be really bad if we fight a big battle. We're going to need. We're going to need to be able to use our tactics. So nice. Oh, get him! Our calves cleaning up there. Right, two losses, and let's see. Trained archer. Yeah, we lost the archers. That's unfortunate, but we did get a lot of level levels up. So I think that'll help a lot. And we need to get rid of one. Let's obviously get rid of a recruit. And we lost an archer, so we'll replace an archer. And let's upgrade these guys all the way down. Same thing with these archers and these archers as well. Yeah, we, no crossbowmen. I think they're okay in some situations, but for what we're trying to do, I think we need to have more uh, more arrows and a bit more accuracy. They, they just weren't accurate. All right, what about gear? Probably... Oh yeah, that's actually a better... That's a better shield. We can take the shield, at least. And... Oh, now he looks like Bran. Holy crap. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Trying to go for Habsburg. We went Game of Thrones instead. Now, a lot of recruits. We can't take them, though. But it's, it's nice to know that we're winning these without losing a bunch of people. That's kind of nice. Right, that's two down. Oh, okay, we don't want to go near there. With some folks being sieged, there's a newer castle. So they did win that siege. Uh, what else changed hands? I think just Poros. Oh, Sestadame. Yeah, that one changed too. That That's the one they were sieging. And then, wait, why are they sieging Thor Thorios? Is this empire, let's see, what is that? The Western? Are they at war with two people? Oh, they are, actually. So that that may not be our troops. That might be from the north. So they're they're getting sandwiched a little bit. South took Odok. Oh, they did take Odok. Interesting. This, so this is, a, this is on 1.1.0. I haven't done a time lapse on this patch yet, but it looks like they're they're quite a bit better at expanding, I've noticed, because within the first month, this castle was gone. A couple castles over here in Batania lands. Uh, you you just don't normally see this. This is this is pretty good. Really surprised nobody suggested Charles grow a beard. 
maybe he couldn't. Maybe he's stuck with a baby face. Like, maybe he just didn't have the hair follicles because, you know, the genes. <laughs> oh, man. It's like alopecia for your chin. All right, let's see what, what we can do here. This is how many people? 39. We can do that. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything fancy here. We outnumber them. Yeah, we've got a pretty big advantage. Footman! Let's get our shield wall. Onwards! Forward! Move! We're gonna spread out a little bit. Arrows! Archers, we'll stay line formation with the archers, but let's Move get them out. in a real thin line. Oh, Alright. We'll center one cow. Go do your thing. Actually, we can charge our, our shield wall line. I think we're in a good enough spot. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, so these aren't these aren't difficult battles. I'm not expecting too much resistance. Lost a couple of recruits. We'll get him back right now. Uh, we don't want to take looters. We'll pass on that. Oh, even better shield. Yeah, we're getting some decent gear actually from these guys. Yeah, we'll take two recruits back that you killed. Thank you. And again, the archers. So the archers are making really good progress here. And we're going to stop at tier 4 and wait for everybody to get there. And then we'll upgrade them to tier 5. And the, the plan... So here's kind of the plan. We are going to go for clan tier 2 as soon as we can. And then we're going to start taking thieves. And then we may do... Um... I haven't quite decided yet if we're going to take the fiefs and start our own or if we're going to try and kick everybody out, you know, build up the influence and stuff like that. We don't have charm, but we probably don't need it if we do if we save up for, for long enough. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know. There, there's a lot of ways we can do it, but for sure we need to get to clan tier two as soon as we can. That's going to help quite a bit. And then that'll give us more more troop size because, again, we, we don't have any ability to expand our party. We have no steward skill. We don't have leadership 275. We don't have any of these perks that give you plus 5 and plus 10 party size. So we literally have to go plant here. That's the only way we can expand our, our party size. So getting there is going to make a big difference. And the sooner we can get up to like 60 or 70 units, the sooner we can take individual noble parties. So yeah, just a recap in case anybody's missed the beginning. We're not allowed to use companions in our main party. We can use companions to, to lead their own party. We're not there yet, but we cannot give off any clan roles so we're stuck with no engineering no surgeon no scout no quartermaster so nothing nope we got to do it all ourselves this is this is charles the chin this is how he rolls right <laughs> he, he knows better than everybody he was he was one of the worst monarchs and uh, we got to play as as if we were but we're instead of bankrupting uh, spain we're gonna create a thriving kingdom anyway so we'll get it going I'm going to try to convince my girl to watch the stream on Big TV because estimate my chances for lulls. <laughs> yeah, just tell her there's a guy with a really big chin. Maybe that'll help. All right, so we got that. What else do we need to do? We could probably start roaming. Actually, they took Sesta Dame. Those are pretty safe. We can go We can go handle those. This is Von Habsburg. Yeah, no, no, not the Scottish Prince. This is Von Habsburg. Yeah, actually, yeah, here we go. Von Habsburg for the uh, the clan name. Charles the Chin. Alright, how many they got at Sestadame? Actually, we could probably take the siege. We won't. It's kind of a waste of time, but we could. Uh, what, a, what about... I think... Let's go into enemy territory. Yeah, look at that. So they are getting kind of stomped by the north. So that, that takes a little bit of pressure off from the southern empire that we're part of. Now, how much are we getting from our mercenary contract? So we're minus four. We're getting 640, so we're barely making like 150-ish. Yeah, we're making 160, so it's it's still not that great. I was hoping they would have started paying us more, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, am I plan are we planning on making a Joker build part two? 
Give the lands to rebels and fund them by smithing. Also take land and feed. That'd be an interesting one. Try and try and build up like a, a rebel. Rebels all around the map. That'd be an interesting playthrough. Yeah, I, I'd consider doing that. That'd be that'd be a fun one too. Uh, need companion party just to keep him from face planting with that thing. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like our. Uh, they'll they'll break our fall. <laughs> All right, what do we need here? So we, we're already capped out on troops still. We don't really need anything. They do have some we can recruit. I don't think we'll lose anybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to force them to give us goods. We'll take all the goods. Hard, <laughs> hard to picture the food as zero Stuart chef cooks. It's probably like uh, military rations or like crappy mac and cheese. Let's go line formation here. Infantry! Onward, so what we're gonna do is we'll take this little island. Move. Move out. Wait, what's going on here? Why am I? Moving. Moving. I want these guys. Forward. There we go. Forward. One line. Move. Warriors. Right. Move out. Onwards. Take the little. I actually know we don't even need to take the get island. Let's just stay in the water. This is gonna be pretty easy for the archers. Okay. Let's get Onward. our cab out there. Pretty good. We got a few low tier archers, but for the most part, we're in good shape. We do need the Palatine guards though, because the range is much better. Mount. Now, where's our cavs? So the cavs are distracting some of their shield walls, so that's good. Riders, hear me. Let's Move. just send them on a little uh, goose chase here. Downright food poisoning the meals. So yeah, that's just like uh, like Rimworld, right? This guy's got no cooking skill. Cavalry. Right. Don't get Onwards. caught. Keep moving, cavs. These are mostly peasants and archers. The the shield wall is chasing our cab for some reason, so this is just like shooting fish in a barrel. Pretty easy. Nice. So they're all dead. Let's just speed it up. I think we're we're good to go. Get moving. Yeah, look at these dingbat. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Benny Hill music right here. Chasing the cab around when you should be fighting with your your archers. Can we get a kill with the shield wall up? Probably not. Let's get a little bit more of a flank on these guys and we'll go in. Did they change this, the water sound? I don't remember water sounds like that. I think they added that. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, that sounded different. I I don't I didn't recognize that. Uh, 3.8 right now, not bad. Let's see how far we are. Oh, we're getting Midlands Palfrey. Nice. How far are we from Clancher 2? So we still have a ways to go. Yeah, we need to we need to keep doing this. We need to pick up the pace. I don't want to spend all day doing this. Because as soon as we can get to the point where we're taking thieves, I think we'll be in really good shape. So let's go. We don't need to recruit troops here. Let's just give us all your stuff. 56 troops. So we're a little bit outnumbered here, but we're in good plan. We're, we're in good shape, I think, still. Uh, let's get up the hill. They're going to be charging at us anyway, so might as well take advantage of it. And then I'll explain. If, uh, I see a couple couple questions here. Let's... A shield wall. And again, we have... A short enough archer line that we can afford to keep them in line formation and still get decent coverage. We'll just do that. Uh, I think right there is fine. Alright, so let's speed find this one. So the plan with this campaign is I'm trying to do a world conquest with the absolute worst setup possible. So no skills, no companion roles taking over those skills. And... And then I'm going to turn that into a YouTube video for the main channel, and it's going to be a let's play for the for the second channel. And then I'm going to do it again with the best possible character, meaning maxed out skills for everything. Well, oh, I'm probably not going to give him skill. I'm probably going to start him off at level one, but I'm going to give him ten attribute points and five focus points and everything. And then I'm going to I'm going to do the exact same world conquest and show you the difference. And then I'll do another final video comparing the two uh, the two campaigns. And just prove that you really builds and stuff. They're fun. It, it adds flavor to the game, but it's really not a big deal. You can do pretty much whatever you want in this game with any build. Like, it's, it's not as important as most people think. Right, we lost a couple people here. 
Uh, what's going on? Oh, there's one guy. Oh, there's an archer just shooting our, our shield wall, and they don't, they're just staring at him. <laughs> Do something, man. You lazy. Alright, we didn't lose anybody, actually, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we're, we got so many prisoners. Alright, let's get rid of the looters. We'll at least take some high t higher tier. We should probably get rid of them, though. They're going to slow us down. And it's not really that much money. Now, as far as shield wall, I think our shield wall is in good shape. Let's go ahead and start doing more archers. And these are almost maxed out, so we can probably get these to tier 5 whenever we want. Uh, we do have one more archer back here. So three of them. I think we're just going to go... Yeah, let's just keep pushing them. These guys can upgrade on their own. That's fine. And do we have an upgrade? Uh, for some reason, this leather cap's a better tier, but it's the same thing. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll take the loot. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we'll take the food. We, we got a lot of mouths to feed now, so that'll help. Uh, let's raid a couple of these on the way back, and then we should probably go to, like, Lycaron and sell some of this stuff. Because we are starting to get heavy. If you look here, we've got minus 0.6 on prisoners. And we're, we're pretty close to being uh, in, in the herding penalty range, so we should probably try and avoid that. Now, let's do... Yeah, let's just keep get, having them give us give us goods. That's fine. Him, right, we sh I don't even think we need to move on this one. We've got a nice little ar archer spot. Let's get them a little, little closer to the fence. Yeah, this one's going to be cake wall. We've got... Oh, wow, we lost somebody. Okay. I was going to say, we have really good quality on our... Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> that guy came charging out of nowhere. All right, so we did lose... Oh, we lost some infantry. Infantry. Why did we lose those guys? All right, let's take... Take the militia. Yeah, we can upgrade these guys to max. So let's just do that. Tier 5, might as well. And then these guys will wait until they're maxed. And we'll take the grain, and we also will take two recruits because we did lose some people. So let's do that. Uh, can't donate gear to upgrade troops either. Yep, so we're, we're going to have to do this all the old-fashioned way. Uh, question about your Herald campaign. Did you just use character reset to make all the Sturgeon companions? And if so, how do I keep the Banner King's AI from recruiting them? Uh, there's no way to get the AI to stop recruiting them. They're just going to do it anyways. And basically what I did is if you go into your... Um, you hire them. Or no, you don't have to hire them. You go you go to their, their uh, encyclopedia tab. And then you can get all this stuff right here. So you can go to edit appearance. You can change how they look if you want. And then you can also go to edit hero. And you can change right in here. You can change them to Sturgeon if you want. And then this is how I reset all their skills. So I just took everything away. Start them at scratch. Yeah, so basically just the character reloader mod. It's it's really, really useful. We need to go raid Tar Tarkutis. Oh, we can actually take this, I think. Yeah, they've got eight Vigila recruits, which basically is like a negative unit. So essentially they have like four units right now. That's how bad the Vigila are. Let's take this guy out. This is going to be our first noble. And we are going to want to take him out. So we got to trap him in here. We're going to use the arrow keys on this one because the AI is... No, he's going to get out. It's too fast. Now, I did notice there's a, a party coming from our left. We have no scouting skills, so we're going to have to be very careful here. All right, maybe we can catch him in this one. Nope, he's going to get out again. If only we had the Batania movement speed in woods. I, I specifically did not pick Batania for this reason, just to, to give it a little more extra challenge. Yeah, we can't catch him. If we, I, I bet you we could if we got rid of our prisoners, but uh, we still have prisoners, so it is what it is. Let's go sell some stuff. We got some money to make, and our party wages skyrocketed. We're almost at four hundred, but we are making enough. We're making enough from the mercenary contract to pay for it, so it's not that big of a deal. So prisoners. Actually, we'll probably stop taking prisoners because I think the amount of. of weight that they add or the the amount that they slow your party down is just not worth it relative to the amount of money you make any upgrades here no upgrades and this is 
probably going to be no upgrades as well. So let's just dump it. And as far as animals go, we can hire, we can have a few more. Let's actually just buy these out. And we have enough food. I think we're good. We could take more food if we want to have higher, um, higher morale. But like I said, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we are using Empire Culture right now. And the reason I did that, two reasons. It's, it, it makes it a little easier when you're taking fiefs because you can take all the Empire. But more importantly, the, the bonuses they get for the culture are terrible. You get a little bit more uh, influence when you, uh, when you join an army, which we're, we're pretty much never going to do that. And the other one is broken because it's supposed to give you 20% less wage for a garrison, but it actually doesn't work for Empire Culture. It, it actually has to be the the fief that gets it. So if, if you're Batanian and you own an Empire Fief, you actually get the wage reduction. If you're an Empire Culture and you own a Batanian Fief, it does not work. So the perk is actually broken and it's tied to the, the fief and not, not the character. So it's kind of stupid. So that's why we're using Empire. It's a terrible... It, the, the bonuses are awful. And you actually get... The, the malice is really bad. You get minus 0.2... I think it's minus 0.2... Uh, what do you call it? Hearth? So it's, it's pretty bad. Now, these guys... Normally, if it was just the Hidden Hand, we could take them on. But they have a lot of Manalites on. Yeah, they've got a bunch of units that we don't want to mess with right now. So maybe when we get another clan tier, we can have up to 70. All right, because 8... We're at peace with the Kazates now, so all the attention is going to come up here. Ooh, the Hidden Hand almost got us, actually. That would have been bad. All right, let's keep raiding. Let's go down here. Wait, who's sieging these? Oh, I didn't realize that. When did we go to war with Aserai? Uh, I must have missed that. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip that. Okay, well, let's get in their backfield. And see if we can take out some of their, um, some more of their villages. Let's see, I think we already raided this one, didn't we? 33. Uh, let's let the villagers get in so we can get more. We want to get more renown. And give us recruits. And again, we're just going to speed these up as fast as possible. Because this is, this is the grindy part of the campaign. Move out! Onward! But hopefully it's not too bad. 36, yeah, that's going to be pretty... Everyone! That's a lot of guys. We'll get, our, we'll get our cab out there. We'll see if we can distract them a little bit as well. We do have Legionary, though. So that should help somewhat. Right, we're micromanaging the cab to come over here and distract these guys. Hey, Marksman, what's going on, man? Good to see you again. Hope you've been doing well. Oh, nice. Yeah, turn turn the <laughs> the shield wall. They're, they're going to turn their back so they can chase. That's real smart. Hey, Seth. What's up, man? Yeah, the chin does not get any bonuses here, man. No, no extra bonus from recruiting. Yeah, they added they added some water noises for sure. That's that's weird. I never heard that before. Right, we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold steady. We're not gonna give the charge command. I think they'll do pretty well here. Man, look how loud that water is. It sounds like there's a freaking waterfall. They probably need to scale that back a little bit. It sounds like a cannonball. Like when a cannonball hits the water. Uh, we did pretty well here. We did lose the Caravan Guard, so we don't have our, our random distraction cab, which is fine. We'll replace them later. Yeah, rip. <laughs> uh, let's, we'll, we'll pass on the on the militia, so. Uh, just as dull. Enjoy your content lately. Help with some hard times. I appreciate that, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear that's been helpful. Hopefully things are getting better. Are you going to get married? Yeah, we'll get married at some point. I don't know when, but uh, at some point we'll do that. And I think we need a few more... Our, our shield wall was a bit thin there, but uh, we can we can upgrade them. And the archers are doing well, even though low tier got some kills there, so that's good. And yeah, we did lose one, so we'll we'll take the replacement. And actually, we do have max level on on our uh, imperial palatinate. Actually, let's do this. Let's get rid of these crossbow. We'll take two more 
We'll take two more recruits and then we'll call it a day. All right, let's keep moving up. I think we already raided these, so these should be pretty much... Oh, no, we didn't get this one. 57, actually, that's... 57 plus, oh wow plus the the villagers uh let's we can still do it we're gonna recruit up to above max and then we'll do it and we're gonna force recruits because for sure we're gonna lose some people here there's no way we get out of this unscathed uh what do we do here that's the question i think we fight over here next to this pen we can probably use that let's see what we can do so they're pretty close 100 basically 150 meters let's get our archers I think probably in a nice long line oh, yes. right here along this fence, oh, they can shoot at them. And, and then maybe we out. can draw them into the pen because they're going to be coming in here almost single file. So let's get our shield wall. Move. Yeah, this would be this is actually a really good spot for us. Oh, even better! Wow, actually we can probably hold this. Onward. Let's just hold this gap. Get oh, look Move at this! Out. This is such a nasty gap. Now the question is, are they going to? around this side i don't know no they're not okay so let's just hold here all right shoot sure, wall yeah look at that so they are going to flank a little bit on this side i could have done a better job positioning them but we'll just poke them the chin pokes the chin pokes and pokes and we'll, we'll provide a little bit of a distraction as well for these guys Not bad. And those our archers are just getting an easy flank on these guys. They're, they're getting easy shots. Man, look how slow this guy is. <laughs> you know what it is? His chin's probably getting in the way. He's got to, like, move it out of the way so he can swing. <laughs> 200 IQ chin. That's a really smart chin. Oh, uh, look at this. Okay, we're going to survey the battlefield here. Look at how nasty this little choke point is. Man, they had... They had almost twice our numbers. We got a few kills here, but really most of it was right here. Yeah, it was like Primopoli. Nice. So what did we lose? We lost. Oh. <laughs> okay, I am not at all surprised. I had mentioned this earlier. These guys are literally the worst. So we, we lost two Vigla. Or Vigla. Vigla recruit. Nine and a half for now. That's really good. And we're not taking prisoners. We could take Hillman. They're they're not all that great. Actually, we gotta get rid of somebody anyway. So let's get rid of a recruit. And we'll put him into the shield wall. Yeah, we'll keep bust we'll keep buffing up the shield wall. There we go. So we're in good shape. Now we need to find more. Actually, you know what? I know there's some really good ones. Uh, we don't even we can't even recruit these guys. I wish we had a bigger party size, but you know. The the chin takes up so much space. There's no room for the rest of the party. <laughs> he he's he's got to have room for the chin, man. So these are really really high. Um, what do you call it? High hearth, hearth size. So we should probably get back there. It's a little risky because there's some some pretty nasty choke points. So if they start to chase us, we will be in a bit of trouble. But I think we can handle it. Let's uh, let's top out on on mounts before we get there. Ooh, the chin upgraded. Yeah, oh, you know what? That would have been hilarious if we if we could adjust this. Like, every time he levels up, instead of getting better skills, we just make his chin bigger. And then by the time he's, like, level 30, his chin goes down to his chest. That would have been awesome. <laughs> oh, I wish we could have done that. All right, so buy products. Let's buy some more Midland Palfrey. We've got 39. We need to have 44. 43. So one more, and then we're, we're maxed. Oh, this guy's... Yeah, see, these guys are chasing us. Now, we have better movement speed, so we're okay. We don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, he gave up. Never mind. All right, one more Midlands Palfrey. We'll take it. And we don't really need cargo space. I think we're in good shape here. We will buy your, your grain. Just because. Actually, was that one... That one has 46. That's fine. Let's skip it. I, I really want to do these these bigger ones. I think we can handle it. How's this one? Oh, Leothold. We don't want to mess with that. This one's got 52. Oh, but it's got villagers. You know what? Let's let these guys drop their stuff off and go back. I want to fight that. With the villagers. Yeah. Of Dradios. Alright, here we go. So they're going to get back in there. 
Villagers are in. Let's wait for daytime, just so you guys can see. It's so hard to see. Uh, that's a little sketchy because that guy's kind of close. We'll have we'll have the movement speed debuff, but that's fine. I think we can handle it. Let's also upgrade past max. Let's uh, also tell them to give us recruits just in case we lose a bunch. So another 89. So we'll get about 10, roughly 10 from this. Ooh, this one's not bad. This is not a bad map. I'm trying to think if there's a better spot. Last time we did it, we were over here. And we created a choke point right here. We could do it somewhere else. This is a pretty good choke point too. But let, let's do that. I want to show you a little different technique here. So let's try this. So basically what we're doing Onward! is they're going to come this way. And Onward! generally the way the AI works is they go for whatever's Whoa, closest. Now! Not whatever's smartest. So... What we'll end up doing is we'll just Move. create a nice little choke point right here. Move out! And they shouldn't be able to get a flank. Archer's going to be slightly back. Maybe right back in this area. Move! And we shouldn't have any issues getting shots on them, and they probably won't go after our archers. Forward. Even if they go after the archers, that's fine. They're Onward. all tier 5. Forward. Well, most of them are tier 5. So we're going to get easy flanks when they go to attack this, this shield wall. So it's, it's going to be easy. And since we don't have a cab to distract, we can actually do that ourselves if we really want to. Which we're going to. Might as well. The chin does not shy away from a challenge. Oh man, it's a massacre. Oh look at it. Those are mostly villagers too. They're going to get stomped right now. Alright, shield wall, follow me. Make sure your shield is not pointing towards our archers. Alright, we're losing some people. We're losing recruits, that's fine. Those are the guys that were over anyways. We, we were gonna have to fire them after the battle. Alright, so the shield wall is going after us. Let's see if we can... Yep, there we go, we can distract them. Alright, line formation with our infantry. We'll send them in because it's only archers left. And hopefully we can distract them a bit. We don't want to trade with the archers, we want to block their arrows and then shoot them in the flank, but they're they're going to get some shots on us. Alright, easy peasy. I think we only took losses on the guys we had to fire anyways, so that's... Oh god, that was terrible. If only I had a chin as a weapon, I'd be hitting every single one. Look at that. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, we lost a legionary. That sucks. We do need to take some troops here, though. We got two, two recruitment slots here. And yeah, we got recruits. That's fine. And they were all infantry, so we're going to keep buffing up the shield wall. And archers. Now we'll we'll. Yeah, actually, we should probably do it. That's fine. We need to we need to get all the the high tier because, like I said, we're we're getting into some pretty sketchy battles. Uh, these aren't too bad, but if we have to fight something like 110, if we have all tier, you know. All tier 5, it'll be a lot easier. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be easier. Uh, let's get away from this guy. This is kind of a small one, but we could do it anyways. It's fine. And we'll have him give us goods, because I highly doubt we're going to lose anybody. So yeah, like I said, th this part is a little bit boring, because you're kind of doing the same thing over and over. But it is the, one of the best ways you can get Renown in the early game. So I do recommend it if you want to just kind of breeze through the early game and, and get to the thief stuff. Yeah, just just go raid villages. You don't have to actually raid. Raiding them doesn't really help you any, but just taking out their militias is really good. Yeah, this is this is unmodded. I mean, I'm using a couple mods like the RTS camera just to speed the game up, but there's there's no, no mods that actually have changed the gameplay at all. This is all just uh, straight Get vanilla. Right, we'll just speed fight this one because these are these are all trash units that we're fighting against. No, hold your position. Why'd you go out there like that? No wonder you lost. No wonder you had a legionary die last time. You bozo. Right, I hope they don't lose anybody. I right, get those last guys. Snipe them. Nice. Alright, nobody survived. We didn't lose anybody, so that's good. Only 6.3 renown. Like I said, we want to we want to try and get that boosted up a little bit if we can. 
Man, we did not lose anybody, so we are going to just take the food. Now, 19k, I do want to start making more money. Uh, the mercenary contract is going to help. One thing th that's going on right now is we are stacking up a lot of loot. If you look at this, we have got quite a bit, quite a collection here. Especially the armor. So this will sell for a decent amount. Yeah, no, nothing else really, but... Let's avoid getting caught by this guy, hopefully. There we go. Alright, so he's going to chase us. Uh, 18 militia is not worth our time. What about this one? 38? Yeah, we can do that. We can do 38. Alright, what are we doing here? Probably doesn't matter. Let's just... Uh, same thing, we'll just take the hill. Right, speed 5, so we can speed up this. Yeah, if, if you're going to do a world conquest or anything like that, where you're Forward. trying to do it quickly, Move out. Bowman. I highly Move recommend out. using a mod like like uh, the RTS Forward. camera to speed up stuff, because it gets to be a real grind. And if you can speed through some stuff like this, it's, it helps a lot. We do, I think we need to charge on this one because they are, they are getting in a deep there. Yeah, we lost some people. Probably, yeah, probably recruits. Not a big deal. Alright, Chin. Go Chin. Him. Oh boy. Our attack just bounced off of the guy's forehead. <laughs> That's how weak we are. Even with the, with the giant spear and a horse behind us, we still aren't doing any damage. Here we go. Right, that's it. We did lose. Like I said, just a recruit. Not a big deal. In game sound is too loud. Okay, I can turn it down. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Audio. Master volume is at 50%, but we can we can turn this down to like 40 maybe. See if that's better. Let me know. Well, I'll run it at 40 and make sure. I I, I do need it loud enough to where I can get it on the recordings, but that, if, if that's still too loud, let me know. I'll turn it down again. Too loud versus your mic? Okay. Uh, is my mic... My mic gain is 100%, so it's probably... If my mic audio is okay, then it's probably just the uh, in-game audio being too loud. I got a 4080? Yeah, I just got a 4080. I just bought a new PC because my wife's starting to help me edit, so I needed a second computer. And so it was a good excuse for me to go ahead and buy a nice one. <laughs> and it, I actually found it on uh, Black Friday. So the Black Friday sale, I got a 13900 CPU and the 4080 and uh, 64 gig of RAM. All, the whole shebang, it was like 2700 bucks. It was really, really cheap. Yeah, man. I, I think I bought my other computer like a year ago. It was a 3070, and I paid 2500 for it. So it's like this and... This thing's 10 times better, and it's like maybe 100 or $200 more. So I was like, mine as well, right? All right, let's try it again. Like I said, if it's too loud again, let me know. I'll, I'll turn it down again. I That's one thing. I had all my settings on the previous computer, and then I haven't adjusted it for this one. So yeah, I still need to do a little bit of that. Uh, we'll do this one because we're already here, but this is kind of a waste of time. 27 troops. Actually, how close are we? We're so close to Clan Tier 2. Let's let's get Clan Tier 2, and then we'll try and raid some of the better ones. If volume sounds good for you, it's easier to adjust the OBS. That is a great point. I didn't even think of that. So that would be desktop audio. Let's move this down like minus... Minus 4? Yeah, actually, I did notice that. So when I was editing, I had to turn my my in-game audio like minus 10 db which i usually don't i i do either five or or just leave it as is so interesting 2700 give me your pc asap dude it was a it was a screaming deal man because i i priced this exact computer that i bought out today without any of the discounts it's like 35 to 3600 bucks so i bought it for about a thousand dollars less i i'm i'm a cheap bastard man i mean i'll spend money on a good computer because i know i'm going to keep it for like five or ten years but I don't, like, I haven't gone clothes shopping. I kid you not. I haven't actually gone clothes shopping for probably five or ten years. 
Uh, I've gotten some stuff as gifts. I just keep wearing the same stuff over and over. I really don't care, man. Um, yeah, sweatpants with paint on it. I don't care, man. All right, let's go. Empire. So they did take Huss and Folk back. So they lost it and then took it back. Huss and Folk's going to be an absolute dump, man. That thing's been passed around. Right, we do need to recruit up a little bit. How many you got here? 13. Yeah, this is probably not even worth it. Uh, let's do this. Let's force them to give us goods. Actually, I was going to send troops. I don't think I want to send troops. Yeah, that sucks. We'll just speed five it. Archer! Get the archers back here. Warriors! Forward! Let's get these guys. Oh, ouch. Footmen! Him! Shield! Wall! Now! Okay, this should be a pretty easy battle. Oh, I stabbed a dead man. Alright, easy peasy. that it? Is there somebody stuck somewhere? Okay, no. Uh, we lost... Nobody, actually. Just uh, one injury, so not bad. Here we go. And do we want hardwood? I mean, we got space for it. We might as well. And 128. So we're, we're still, like I said, we want to fight the bigger battles so we can get there faster, but I think we're doing okay still. Uh, did they fix auto resolve this patch? No, this patch is the one that I believe broke it. I think I think it was fine previously. I, I could be wrong. I don't know exactly when it broke because I haven't tested it in a little while. But for sure, 1.1.0, it is not working properly. So, uh, five to ten years, you are a cheapo. Yeah, I'm pretty cheap, man. I, I'm I'm a very simple person. I don't need a fancy car. I don't need a you know gigantic house. Now the wife may disagree with that. She would like to have a a, a big house, but. Personally, I don't need a big house. I, I could live in like a one or two, a, a one, or I could even live in a studio and be happy if I got everything I need. Obviously with kids, it's different, but yeah. And then like clothes and shopping, I couldn't care less, bro. I, I go to business meetings now in my sweats and I got paint stains on them. I don't care, man. I work for myself. If they don't like it, they can, you know, piss off. Here we go. I, I wore a suit for, I don't know, 10 years of my life and I'm definitely not going to be doing that anymore. Uh, 32, this is a decent one. This is a decent one. And I know there's some new people showing up. Let's just do a quick recap. We're using Charles the Chin the second. He's the Spanish Habsburg monarch. He was awful, and so we're playing as him. We have no skills. We have no stats. We can't upgrade anything. We can't take any perks. And we can't use anybody in our clan party. We have to do all of this ourselves. We can use clan parties if we want to at some point, but we cannot use anybody for any of these party roles so we're going to be at a pretty big disadvantage most of the game so all right what about upgrades yeah let's get these guys upgraded before they get stabbed in the face now veteran archer we can upgrade that we've got a, just this last guy otherwise we've got pretty pretty solid uh archer line Ooh, actually i think maybe that's too many too many infantry, but that's fine. I think we'll we'll make it work. When we when we get to clan tier two, we'll probably expand more on the infantry side and less on the the other side. He modeled his character after me. If you got the the big uh, alpha male jaw as well, this guy's got the 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 giant jaw, right? What do we need to do here? Let's just take out all this stuff. Give us your greats. You wrote a song with ChatGPT? That's interesting. One man, one man, <laughs> Charles the Chin. Onward, arrows, arms like the boom out. A family circle. Yeah, actually, if you look at our flag, here, let me show you our our, uh, our flag. So if you look at it, it's, it's, it's the only thing they had that's kind of similar to an infinity sign. And that's because the genes stay within a circle and it's an infinite loop. So we're gonna keep the genes, you know, all in the family. So that's that's our that's our family crest, the in infinity sign. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, actually, let's get our archers up on this little ridge. We probably won't be able to shoot over the tops of them. 
Incest, twincest. Alright, in the next, I think we'll, we'll probably have to do this another maybe three or four times, and then we can hire enough people, and then we can go uh, start fighting noble parties, and it'll be a bit more interesting. But you know, for now, we gotta pay our dues. We gotta put in the time. Oh, we lost one. Is that a legionary? No, we lost a trained infantryman. The five renown. We are what twenty away now, or maybe not even that. Let's get these guys upgraded because they keep dying on me. Thoughts on diplomacy mod? If it if they fixed it and it stops crashing the game, it's amazing. I like it a lot. Uh, I had problems with it every time I tried to use it. It kept crashing. So if they fix it, it's great. But I, I haven't had a chance to test it yet. So don't upgrade troops. That would be a real challenge. Yeah, if we could use good troops, that would be pretty hard. <laughs> I, I don't know if that would be reasonable to do. All right, we don't want the visual recruit, so we're just gonna pass. Let's keep going. Actually, we are very close. Thirty-four. Yeah, so we got sixteen more. Actually, yeah, we can take another recruit here. Give us your sheep. Our men need sheep. Looter only challenge? That's doable. It actually wouldn't be that hard. I, I've got uh, a build specifically for that. And uh, I'll make a video on it soon. But yeah, it, it's it's actually not too bad. Uh, you know what? Actually, the hill here is, is quite good. If this is the map, I think it is. Yeah, so the hill is really good. We're just going to scurry over to the hill. Get the man on the slope, get the archers up at the top. Looter only with this character, that would be incredibly slow. The the amount of time you'd have to spend uh, converting bandits over would be... Yeah, it, it would take a very long time. Because remember, your your recruitment rate goes based off your, uh, your leadership skill and perks. And since we don't have either of those, it would be really, really long time, so... Yeah, that I would probably rather hang myself than do that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's straighten our line out so we're not too far off from these guys. Right, here comes the shield wall. They should get stomped here. No biggie. Yep, they're running. Alright, easy. Didn't lose anybody. Four renown, so we're ten away. Uh, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna speed run through this part, and we don't want sheep. Let's go ahead and chop that sheep up. Whoops. Sorry, boys. No sheep for you today. All right, let's head down here. Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna hit up all these, and then by the time by the time we get to Clan Church Two, we can take the ones down here, which are gonna have like 150 units. Like I. I don't know if we can do 150 with this with this army. This would be a tough one. So maybe, but probably not. El Hermosos. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That'd be a good one. Uh, actually, we probably don't need it. These guys only have like 30 something. Yeah, let's just raid it, get it over with. We're almost there. Right, choke point, archers, make sure they can all shoot. Where are they coming from? Right here? Yeah, this should be good. Wait, can they not shoot? They can't shoot. Alright, this is a bad spot. Let's get the archers back here then. We want to have a little bit more of a firing line before we actually have the lines meet. That should be a little bit better. I don't think we'll lose anybody here because they don't have very many... Uh, the, the, their archers don't really do anything. It's mostly their melee infantry when our infantry do stupid things. And it seems like we've got enough to where we can avoid. Alright, how can we not kill this guy? Come on, Chin. Get him, Chin. And the obligatory archer stuck on the building. Wait, who's left? Oh, there's a couple running back there. Okay, we did it. And four renowns. So like I said, we're almost there. 
Let's just breeze through this. And we'll take all your food. And actually, we got a few upgrades here. Let's let's keep upgrading the archers again. We want to have a few more archers. I think our our melee line is in good shape. And what about this one? 36. We're almost there. Now this should be no, not a, we I think we need two more. Uh, I'm doing a Templar run on Bannerlord. What, uh, Miguel, what's a Templar run? I'm not sure. What What do you mean by that? It sounds interesting. Palatine Guard. Yeah, the Palatine Guards are really good. Now that they've got the two, the two quivers. The Bodkin Arrows. So they got 48 shots. It's, it's really good. I like them a lot. Okay, I think we need to do two more of these and then we'll be able to... We'll be able to hit clan tier two, but we're not going to immediately go to to be a vassal. We want to save up a few few dinars just in case we can't take our first fief quick enough. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's let's take this hill. I think this should be fairly reasonable. All right, uh, like I said, we're going to speed up this as fast as we can. Yeah, destroy their archers. Actually, what we can do is we can also try and distract. We can help these guys out. I really don't want to take losses or a higher tier because we're about to hit clan tier 2 and we're going to have a lot of guys to upgrade. The last thing we want to do is upgrading a bunch of dead units that should not be dead. So these guys are real smart. They're chasing the cab that's close to them, right? That's the, that's the thing to do when you get shot at by 30 or 5 units. You should probably turn your back to them. I mean, even, even the Chin has good ideas once in a while, right? Here we go. Alright, there you go. And that's it. So, six. Actually, that might do it. Is it? Nope, we didn't get it. We're very close, though. We do have 50 influence, though. So, we're getting minus 11, 1,700 per day. It's really, really good. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade this guy. Yeah, we're so close. Ah, we got two left. That sucks. Well, that's okay. We're, we're gonna... Oh, this is a small one. We can do this one quickly. And we're gonna have them give us recruits. Let's recruit up to the max. And then we're gonna force them to give us recruits, because once this battle's done, we're gonna have a, a much bigger party size limit. So we're gonna want to take advantage of that. Arrows, get moving. Loose formation. Back these get guys moving. up just a smidge. Warrior, right. I don't know why these guys are facing the wrong direction. But I guess we will spread them out a little bit. Right, shield wall, and yeah, this should be easy. Okay, there's only 20 of them. We're going to hit clan tier 2. Now the plan's going to change a little bit. We are still going to raid villages just until we get up to max. And then we're going to go hunting for noble parties. Two reasons why. Number one, we're going to get significantly more renown per battle. Usually you cap out at 50, which we should have no problem to... Oh, oh wait a second. That dude took an arrow right to the eyeball. Oh, no. Nah, it, it went through like the top of his head. That looked pretty brutal. We lost to Beach the Recruit. Oh no, the worst unit in the game. What are we going to do without him? Let's upgrade our spear. Right, yeah, we can take recruits because like I said, we're up to 70 party size now, so much better. And these Vigla, we might as well not even have a unit. Let's get rid of them. I guess we could. We have... The, the problem is they're they're so expensive to upgrade and those low tier might not even survive so i don't know we'll see we'll see all right first off we do need to keep going because we need to recruit and we need to force recruits so let's keep doing that Infant, move out. Close. Arms like forward. and again i think move. nothing fancy in this one we're just gonna Get better moving. line out and actually, what we should do is 
we'll put our shield wall up to a slight angle. So hopefully they go after this and we get a little bit of an angle on them. And we need to turn our shield wall so that we're not getting shot in the back by their arrows. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yep, done. It only takes a minute. And we're not taking those. We are going to take your recruits. Six recruits, nice. So we only need nine more, and we're already back to, to max. All right, this is where it gets a little sketchy because they do have people here. Let's see. Charles the Chin. What level are we at now? Eight? Nine? That's not bad. That's not bad. Not that it makes a difference, but, you know. All right, force recruits. Oh, what about your kids? I mean, if, if the kids don't have a gigantic chin, then it's it's probably not our kid, to be honest. We need to have giant kid, giant chin kids. Yeah, it, it means Mrs. Habsburg would have been fooling around with somebody else. So I guess we'll see. Let's spread these guys out on the hill. Uh, I don't really like the look of that. They have a really big advantage here because of this hill. I mean, it's it's literally uphill the whole way. So let's... I think we can go a little wider here. So let's get these guys. Come on, let's get these guys stretched out. Arrows. Yeah, they're going to be coming right down the middle here. So if I think if we take this... This hill will be in good shape. Move out! Infantry away! And then our infantry are gonna hold it's not really a choke point, but it kind of is. Yeah, okay, we can't go there. We can go we can stay here. Get these guys stretched out a little bit as well. I think something like this should be good. I should probably do shield wall. There we go. Yep. And funnel them in. Yeah, and our archers are still, even though we have a shield wall here, they're going to be shooting the top of their heads. So it's, it's a pretty pretty good formation. We'll lose a few, probably a few recruits, but I think we're good. Alright, clean them out. Uh, they, they missed a little a few, that's fine. So what did we lose? A recruit... Train infantry in a in a vigla, not prob not a problem. We don't want the vigla anyways, and we do get some upgrades here. So let's do this. How many infantry do we want? We probably want at least twenty. Twenty in our front line, and then probably a bunch of archers. And we should probably take and start taking some cav at some point. Will your kids have better stats? Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter. I think we're gonna conquer the map before we have kids. To be honest, they're, I don't think they're gonna. I mean, if, if we're going historical, then we would uh, not have kids because his uh, his swimmers were not working. He had real hard time having kids. So, I, my understanding is he had a hard time chewing. Like he had to have people help him chew his food towards the end of his life. I guess his tongue like swelled up so big he couldn't barely do it. So it's 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 kind of sad. But I mean, we're making fun of him, but in reality, it was it was pretty sad. But that's life, you know. That's what happens when your dad is your uncle and your son at the same time or whatever. That probably doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> when, when you got a very complicated tree. So let's upgrade. And hopefully we can re replace this Vigla. Yeah, we can. And we can take 14, so we're over. Nice. 70 out of 70, we'll get this one done. Do you guys have some tips on how to make companion spear brace, like loadout commands? Uh, just make sure they're, they have a braceable uh, spear and make sure that they're actually pulling it out. So typically, if you want to make sure that they use it, make sure they don't have any other weapons because they'll just kind of switch between weapons randomly. So just give them only the spear brace. And then, yeah, make sure they're in like a line formation. That usually makes it easier for them to use it. There's no commands that, that'll force them to do it. They just do it on their own. So. Okay, what do we need to do now? So we have 70. I think we can probably take these. Let's see how big this this uh this fief is. Oh, we got a challenger. 
And they have 29 recruits. We could probably take this. They only have 7 cav. Oh yeah, he's scared. Man, what are you doing? Puffing your chest up like you're gonna do something and you run like a like a dog. There's a there's a video of this dog getting chased by a cat. And that that's what that reminds me of. He's like screaming his way back. Alright, get out of here, man. Oh now 107 will be the will be the screaming dog. Here, let's get out of here. We do need actually what we should probably do. We should probably head back to a friendly territory like maybe we go north to Batania We need to get more horses because we are not at max movement speed Yeah, equipment and horses is only 0.5 We want to get that up close to like 0 0.7 0 0.8 something like that and then we'll be in better shape So let's go Marinoth usually does not have mounts, but we'll see Now we've peace with Asurai, but we're still at war with the West. So this is good. Yeah, look how creepy this guy looks. <laughs> his little his little flag here looks really creepy. Oh yeah, that's what I was uh, I was talking about. I didn't show anybody though. Yeah, our our flag. This is the only thing they have that's close to the infinity sign. And so, like I said, the family tree. Somebody mentioned family tree. It's actually more like a family circle. That is accurate, and it's an infinite family circle because we're not going to be letting anybody. Anybody other's genetics get in here. This is our genetics. Should they have high charm? They should, but this Habsburg does not because he was the worst. There are a lot of really good Habsburg monarchs. Charles II was absolutely the worst. So, no, he, he's definitely not having any charm. He was not a charming person. All right, what about... We don't want to take their troops. We do want to take their horses. And we don't want a Batanian hobby. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, that's not good. Oh, these guys are fast. Ah, uh, crap. Can we get rid of anything? We can't. I think we're just screwed here. We could fight it, or we could try... Oh, man. What do we do here? I don't think we can make it back. And then we're going to get chased by this guy. We're just going to have to give up troops. Halt. Yeah, we're going to have to give up troops. We we can't really fight it. We might be able to fight this. How many do we have to give up to do this? Only 15. That's nothing. We can do that. We're going to go ahead. We, the biggest thing with here is giving up the, the mouse, though. That's really expensive. So we'll sacrifice some troops to come up here. Man, that sucks. We came up here specifically to get mounts and now it's costing us troops and mounts i hate that and they're super expensive here so probably gonna pass so this was just not a good not a good thing all right let's get out of here before we get caught again but on the bright side we can attack new villages and i think these guys are gonna have good archers yeah they're gonna have some really good archers here so we're not opposed to mixing we don't need to stick with empire troops only so why not have the Von Hosberg crest as your banner? Well, if, if we had that mod, we could, but we don't have the mod, so we're just going to run with what we got. I, I'm trying to keep this one as with as few mods as possible because I don't want it to crash. So I'm using RTS to speed stuff up, but for the most part, it, we're not really using anything else. Can you force recruit noble re troops? Yes, it's actually one of the best ways to get noble troops because you don't have to worry about relations with these guys. You just make sure you're at war, and then we'll take actions... We'll force recruits, and then we'll take everything. Now, this one is a really good choke point as well. Let's get the archers up here. We'll get the infantry over here. And we seem to be having pretty good success with the single line, like a single long line. So let's, let's stick with that for now. Actually, if we put them on a slight hill, they might be able to shoot over their shoulders. Let's get the infantry up. We gotta stuff this. We don't want them going after our archers. Does force recruit hurt relations if you're at war? No, it does not. If you raid the village, it does. But force recruits doesn't do anything. Yeah, force recruits or force uh, supplies doesn't really do anything. So it's it's, it's pretty useful. And there's also a perk in the roguery tree that, that gives more troops when you do that action, so 
it's it's a pretty good perk to have if you're if you're trying to load up on, on nobles. Alright, we don't want to give up our flank here, so let's let's try and secure the flank. Let's get the chin in the body block. Right, we're losing a few people. Hopefully it's just peasants or uh, recruits. Get out of here. Get out of here. God, look how slow this guy is. This is insane. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. I I'm doing this literally because I think it's funny. It's a waste of time, though. Alright, we got him. And we lost only one. And it's an infantryman. That's fine. We can we can absorb that. Eight renown. So pretty good renown. And let's see. We got... How many archers we got? I think what we'll do is we'll we'll beef up the infantry a little bit more because we are start we we were losing a few and then we're gonna replace those archers that we lost with the uh, with the the Fians. Ooh, nice! We can upgrade our fur cloak. Nice, looking a little bit more like Brand now. Even uh, I don't think we need to worry about upgrades here too much. Force recruits should have less loyalty and have lower morale. That would be interesting. Yeah, they could start with that. Uh, only recruits. Interesting. I thought we were going to get... Wait, why are we getting recruits? Isn't this a Batinian? Alright, let's take a look. It is indeed a Batinian culture, but they are... Okay, so that's a bug. Uh, I'll have to report, report that. That's definitely a bug. Yeah, it's not supposed to be Imperial troops. That's supposed to be regular troops. So it's giving us recruits based on the, the people that own it and not from the actual pool. Well, it is what it is. Now, what are we at right now? We're at Clan Tier 2 and we're not that close to Clan Tier 3. More importantly, we need to save up a lot of cash. Actually, we didn't... Okay. This is what I originally wanted to do. I wanted to go to town, sell some stuff, get a bunch of money. And try and save up. Maybe we can get up to like 100k and then we can go to being a, a, a vassal. Because right now, <clears throat> right now we don't have any income source. If we, if we leave being a, a mercenary, it's going to be tough. We don't really have anything. We don't have, uh, we don't have caravans. We don't have any workshops. We don't have any of that stuff. We got a little upgrade for our helmet. That helps. No, this one's not as good. Okay, we'll sell that. Ooh, look at that. 19k. Okay, we're actually in much better shape than I thought we were. And let's get rid of some of these Sumpters. The problem with having too many, it's good, but if you have to give up troops, or if you have to, you know, if you lose a battle and you, you only have, say, 40 troops, and you have a ton of, of mounts, it's, it's really bad. It slows you down quite a bit. Uh, can this Chad win a tournament? Yes, we can win a tournament. I'll show you. We'll, we'll win one. Actually, there's a tournament right here. Let's do it. The Chin is going to show you his skills. <laughs> Mr. Chin. And we'll even put money on it. Alright, we don't even know how to ride a horse, but we're going to do it. 68 damage. Oh, we got to pick our... We got to pick our spots... Wisely, though. Oh, we just stabbed wrong guy in the back of the head. Okay, so we're yellow. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that circle jerk too much, because that's uh, probably not going to go too well for us. This guy is blue, so we can attack him. Oh, what happened here? Everybody just canceled themselves. Wow. All right, and we, we don't want to go too crazy here, because uh, we're actually, it doesn't matter now. We're in the last one, so we're good. All right, there we go. So we're in the next round. We're not going to bet anymore because it's not really worth it. Now, this in this case, we we just need to distract and get flanking hits, or allow our guy to get flanking hits. And it doesn't matter what happens now because we're in, so we'll just speed this up. Uh, we're definitely not using a bow, and hopefully not getting one tapped. Alright, help 2v1 this guy, and then we move on. Alright, done. One more.
Now, if, you're, if your attack speed stuck, what you're going to have to do is hold your attack a little bit longer and try and get them when they're starting their swing. So right now, I haven't quite timed it yet. There we go. So like that. Oh, I missed. It's a little scary because their attacks are like that one. I was able to drag it across them fast. Oh, almost got him there. He he had second thoughts. There we go. One more hit and he's dead. Oh, two more hits. We hit like a little baby there. So hold it. Throw it. Got him. There we go. Bellator with no skill. We have zero skill. We could kick. That's a good point. We could kick. The problem with kicking is if you miss, because we're so slow, if we miss, it's like instant death. So I feel like it's a little safer to, to just time your attacks because you do have a shield. Take advantage of it, you know. But yeah, we we could have we could have kicked. Make it so morale influenced fighting ability. I agree with that, John Connor. That that makes a lot of sense. Like maybe you could have a sliding scale if you're at like 50, which is the break-even point. You would have your normal skills, and then maybe if you're for every every point you go negative, it gives you like a minus, you know, 0.1% or whatever. So that at, at zero morale, you're basically zero combat skill. And then 100 morale, maybe you get a small bonus, like, you know, plus 5% or something. I think that'd be kind of a good idea. That's I, I like that idea, actually. Let's sell some stuff. We do, actually, I think we sold most of it, but we didn't get rid of this, this garbage. Yeah, and then we don't need a... We don't need a nice sword, because we can't really use it in battle anyways, because we are trash. I mean, we're trash, but we can still win tournaments, right? <laughs> oh, man. The, the Empire tournaments are probably the easiest. Uh, doing this in Batania lands is really hard, so I don't know. Now, we weren't able to stock up on all those mounts. And as you can see, it's very important because getting caught by that, that one party was really, really bad for us. Actually, you know what we should do is try and find some cav. See if we can find some cav. We might have to upgrade ours from scratch, though. It looks like that might be the case. Yeah, it's all going to be Vizsla. That's okay. We'll we'll do it slowly. So let's do this. Let's get up to 100k, which is very doable as long as we stay as a mercenary. And then we will switch over. We'll flip to being a vassal. And I don't know which one we'll we'll, we'll be a vassal for. It'll be one of the empires most likely. And then we'll we'll just make sure we help take over empire fiefs. And then we'll kind of figure something out. Uh, campaign settings. This one? Everything's on Bannerlord. We don't have Iron Man mode on. I, I could do it, but the problem with that is if, if I get a bad save file, it kind of throws the whole thing off, so. Uh, Twitch better than YouTube? I'm thinking about multicasting. I, I haven't quite decided that yet. For sure it's going to be on YouTube. I may add Twitch later. I'm not 100% sure, so. Yeah, playing on Iron Man mode kind of sucks if you're trying to do like a streamed campaign because if you get a bad, a bad uh, update and it, it breaks your save, then you have to start over. So and it, you know, that that costs time and money and all that. So definitely don't want to do that. But yeah, it, we're we're not going to be safe scumming, so it's basically Iron Man mode. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? But yeah, let's keep taking taking recruits. Why is this the worst character? Because we're not able to level anything up. There's no skills, no perks. We can't use companions. Uh, he's zero. Everything zeroed out, so we can't we can't go above anything. Arrow! Arrow! <laughs> oh lord, yeah, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough, but I mean, it's it's still doable. The the part that's going to be rough is when we start taking thieves. Because we can't replace those losses easily, so it's it is going to be a pain to do that. Not having anybody that has medicine skill is a pain. All the other stuff is probably not that big of a deal. And even then, it's not that big of a deal. It does just slow your conquest down. That's that's basically what it does. Let's just back these guys up a little bit. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay. Oh boy. They're gonna be getting a flank on us, so let's let's cover this flank a little bit at least. Let's go ahead and give them the charge command. Ooh man, we're getting smacked around here. All right, we're brave. We're brave. Charge into the into the thick of it. <laughs> show them your 
show them your, your, the size of your chin. Alright, so they ran. We did lose a few people there, but that's fine. It's probably mostly recruits. And I think we do need to take some Vigila because we, we probably want to have some cavalry here. If anything, we need to make sure that our movement speed on the campaign map is, is good. So we lost a legionary, two trained infantrymen, and a bunch of recruits. That's fine. Accept acceptable losses. Will it not be a problem to have armies? No, army's not a problem because we can still recruit other people into our, our party, but our main party has to be the worst. But then even then, you know, having a companion run a party, they're never going to have as good of skills as, as you would. So, I mean, it's still pretty big, pretty big debuff. How did it go until now? Uh, harder than expected, but or harder than normal, but not by much, to be honest. It, it's really not that big of a deal, so... Uh, why did we... So interesting, there's a second battle. We're just gonna send troops here. Yeah, that's fine. I've never seen that before, where they, they force you to fight twice. That's interesting. And only recruits? Why are we only getting recruits? Did they only... Maybe they only had recruits. I feel like I saw other stuff there. Let's go look at their... Yeah, see, look, they have cav. Why, why, why do we not get access to that? That never used to be the case. You would have access to their the actual troops in there and not not this so they changed something something's different i don't know why they did that that does make it a little bit more difficult because i was hoping to get some cav here uh, we'll take the vigila get rid of a couple recruits and i think we need to still put a few more archers in let's go five archers and the rest will these will all be shield walls so is it based on your roguery? I don't think it was ever based on roguery. If it is now, then it's changed. So it's only been giving you recruits as well. Okay. Yeah, they changed something then. So 1.1 is has changed a few things, and, and I don't know why they didn't tell us. I kind of wish they would have let us know that that, that was the case. Mm. It, it's it's not a big deal though. We'll we'll work our way around it. Now we're only gonna have two of these Batanian archers, but that's fine. We, we can make this work with whatever whatever we want. Do you feel companions buff in 1.1? I don't think so. I haven't noticed it, but I haven't played enough with companions, so I can't I can't say that. I'm, either way, I'm not sure. Is it based on max roguery? I... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I, I, I'd have to test it out. It's possible. It's based on your reputation with the people in the village. Well... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Medicine scope. Yeah. Uh, there is no build. Our build is zero everything. We're not allowed to upgrade anything. So we can't use any of these points. We can't take any perks. We're, we're stuck at zero. And we can't use... We can't use anybody to, to fulfill these roles in our party. So it's, it's basically the worst. Like I said, we're trying to em emulate the worst possible uh, person to do... do to do a world conquest with, and then we're going to do it anyway, so. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We took a bit of damage there, so we do have to be careful here. We don't want to be in auto-resolve range, because that's going to really hamper things. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. So we can do this for sure. Uh, actually, let's hold off on that. Let's wait till we heal up. We got two people that are still injured. And we want to do it in the daytime anyway, so we'll recruit to max. And we'll force recruits again, because we're probably going to take some losses here. We did get a good map for this, though. Yeah, this this is a good map. I like this one. So we're going to have... Spread them out on this mountain. We should be able to get shots off quite a while. Spread the infantry line out a bit. But stay in shield wall. I feel like they're going to do pretty well there. Actually, you know what? I think we did... We used Wedge before, and it worked out pretty well, so let's try that. That is one ugly Wedge, man. What is going on here? Right, can we spread it out a little bit? Yeah, like that. Alright, this should work. This should work. Alright, let's charge him in. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take some losses, but we need to get our Vigila from experience. 
So standing him in, taking losses is part of the part of the plan. It's not a big deal. As long as our archers stay intact, we're in good shape. Man, I don't know who can take a stab to the head, but I guess this guy's like tickling him with their spear. Right, uh, I give up. That's it. Uh, we lost one infantryman, one Vigla. Uh, one Vigla. I keep calling him Vigla. We did have some injuries, but they survived. That's good. Nine renown. Yeah, it's only recruits. Interesting. So that, that does change strategy a little bit. Uh, not not so much in this campaign, but for some other stuff I had planned. That's interesting, I guess. And let's get these guys up to at least the veteran infantry. These guys. Yeah, we can just keep upgrading. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where our dumpy Vigila were. Yeah, they only need regular mounts. We don't need a ton of cav. I think just a few to... to Create some separation or, or a distraction force would be good. So it's it's not imperative that we have a, a giant force. Actually, can we? I'm curious what the auto resolve does for these. You got pro. Is it decent? Nope. We still lost. Oh my! <laughs> we lost an archer and a freaking recruit to 15 looters. Okay, so it still sucks. Yeah, we're not doing that again. Right, let's oh crap uh we might, might be screwed here yeah okay Since well you're not going anywhere oh that's so annoying it, we don't have any I scouting skills like so there's no way we could see him but yeah man that sucks i wonder if we could take this fight actually he's the balance of power is pretty close he must have a lot of junk 26 Imperial Archers, so they're not the greatest. Trained Archers are decent. He's got a lot of ranged units. Man, that's a lot. Ten Cav. I'm half tempted to, to fight this, but I don't know. How did you not see him? He's right under your chin. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one, man. Hey, Kopez, thank you so much for the $2 donation. This is the third time Sarate's stalked you. What a weirdo. Yeah, he's he's probably got a chin fetish, if I had to guess. <laughs> the chin, chin, chin. He wants it, man. All right. I don't know if this is worth it. If we try and get away, we're giving up 14. And it's probably going to be most of our recruits anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and do it. I, I don't really want to... Wait, why is he still chasing us? He's not supposed to do that, but, uh, whatever. Alright, we should be able to get away now. Oh, no, these guys are really fast. Alright, don't aggro him. No, 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 don't aggro. Okay, cool. So we got some separation, at least, because of that guy. Okay, well, we got Vigla. Let's... Oh, these guys, yeah, they're scared of us now. I don't really want to fight him either, because we'll take some pretty heavy losses. Let's, uh, maybe we'll spend some time training up the Vigla. So we can actually use them. The Vigla, I keep saying it, man. You allow us to save scum. We're we're gonna try our best not to do it. I mean, if it's gonna ruin the campaign, if we don't, then uh, uh, maybe. But for now, we're just gonna leave it. Yeah, seventeen man party. It's gonna be really hard to catch them because seventeen units are gonna move really, really fast. And I was hoping to get more cav. Yeah, see, we lost a few of our horses, but we're still we're still in good shape. Actually, what did we lose as far as units go? I think we mostly just lost recruits because we had 25 Palatine. We had 14 Legionaries, so we didn't really lose any of the good stuff. So that's 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 the best case scenario, at least. All things considering. Now, these guys have 18 Cav and 9 Horse Archers. I'm tempted to fight with him. See if he wants a piece. You want a piece? Yeah, actually, we could we can we can separate these guys out. They're, oh no. If they combine though, that's not good. So let's let's kind of let them. He's chasing the caravan. That's kind of funny. Actually, if he if he fights the caravan, we'll we'll jump in and help because that's forty more units on our side. Stop what happens that. if we do this? Cool. Oh, we can catch him. Nice. Are they gonna link? 
No, they're not going to link up. That's it. All right. Uh, did we win? No, we had to sacrifice troops to get out. <laughs> I didn't want to risk our whole party. So. Cosma. Hey, Strat. Always a pleasure to see you game and hear your voice, papi. Ay, papi. Uh, muy amable. Muchas gracias. All right. What are we going to do here, though? So it's only 17 troops, so they're probably not going to charge us. We we're going to have to go into them, so let's just get in there. Max troop limit right now is 70. Yeah, and it's it's only going to be based off clan tier because we don't have any uh, any steward skill. So every every clan tier, it's going to be plus 25. Arrow, move. Arms like right, let's get on the hill. They do have a few horse archers, right? So let's let's see if our our melee troops can like distract them or something. Right, stab him! Stab! Him. Oh, you leveled out our Vigila. No surprise there. These guys are trash. <laughs> they can't even hold their uh, their foot, their footing. All right, a little disappointed that our archers, our 34 archers, can't shoot one guy. There we go. One guy. Can you hit two? Nope, can't hit two. All right. So he's out of air. Wow, he already ran out of ammo. Oh, no, he didn't. Why is it it's saying he's a melee troop, though? That's interesting. Wow, that did absolutely nothing to his horse. What a chinly voice. <laughs> you can hear the chin. All right, let's not let's not mess around with these guys. Let's uh, let's get up the hill with our infantry. Let's get our archers over here. Okay, so their cab got dumped. Oh, are they charging in? They're charging in. All right, so let's get infantry in this little crevice. Archers back here. Let's go down for a sec. Get forward. I want this line as long as possible. Here we go. Right, let's get a shield wall up here. They don't have a ton of infantry, so it's not a big deal. I guess it's mostly for the cap. Oh, wow. Ouch. That hurt, man. <laughs> oh, that hurt. We are losing troops. I think we need to send them on a charge because I think the quality of their troops are pretty good, I guess. And let's just be a blocking force. Like I said, we just want to get in their way. Blow them down so our archers can get shots off on them. And we'll give everybody the charge command. That should be fine. One left. Yeah, I'm based on this battle, this is only 17 troops, and they picked off quite a few of ours. I'm really glad we didn't fight that that uh, 70 versus 69. That would have been a pretty rough battle for us. I think we would have lost it. Oh, stomped. Oh, his body went flying. All right, six recruits. Oh, we did lose a Palatine Garn. That's unfortunate. I really don't want to lose the archers, so. Can you speed up the fights in vanilla? No, you can't. You have to do it with a mod. Yeah, or if you're knocked out. That's true. If you're knocked out, you can do it. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Three and a half renown. 7.6 influence. Not really what I was hoping for. I was hoping to get a little bit more than that. Now, we could gain relations with these guys. Really not a big deal. We'll take him prisoner, and then we'll donate him to somebody else that we care about for relations. And let's take... I would like to get that cataphract. We'll convert him. We won't take any other prisoners till he's uh, converted over. And we could take some armed traders. They're not very good because they don't upgrade. So I think we'll probably leave them. A dull heavy saber. So we're, we're getting some stuff here at least. Yeah, actually, let's take everything in and then we'll... Let's see what we got. Let's go by value. Yeah, we'll take the heavy saber. That's fine. What about shields? Yeah, we got a better shield, so this thing will last a bit longer. Got to protect our nasty little feet. Don't think we're going to have any other upgrades, though. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, These guys are going to for sure... Yeah, oh, they 
Okay, well, I guess it's an even fight. They just walk past us. Usually that means that they think the balance of power is very even, and so they won't pursue the battle. The Benny Royal? Yeah, they, they are pretty good, actually. They, they don't go up to tier 5, though. Right, I don't think they do. Wait. Uh, I'm going crazy here. Benny... Yeah, they stop at tier four, so that kind of sucks. <clears throat> but yeah, they are they are pretty good. Actually, let's let's dump some stuff. See how much money we got. Like I said, we don't want to spend too much time in this phase. We want to get to owning thieves pretty quickly. So once we get to 100k, I think that's a pretty safe a safe amount, and we can pick up more Midlands Palfrey. That's good. Ooh, we got a banner. Nice. What does this do? Decrease ranged accuracy penalty. Okay, so we'll be in charge of our archers then, I guess. And I think that's good. We don't really need to mess with any of this other stuff. Thoughts on the troop overhaul for RBM? I, I like it. I, I generally, if I use RBM, I'll usually use something else like DeRay Military or True Armies of Calradia. But but the, the base one's pretty good too. I... Yeah, I, if you're going to use RBM, use one of the others too. You use DeRay or or uh, at, um, DeRay or True Armies of Calradia. Either one of those are good. I, I think they're both just they have different flavors, but I think they're both pretty good. I personally prefer True Armies of Calradia because I feel like there's more low tier troops, and I like to have those big battles with, you know, only a small amount of high tier troops. That way, they're not beating on each other for 40 minutes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, we're in good shape. Uh, I think we need to level some of these low tier guys up before we start going after the high tier. And we can't start upgrading these. I think I'm going to wait on those though. Let's... What upgrades do we have? Yeah, we lost an archer, so let's replace the archer. And upgrade the rest. Alright, the hero. Oh, whoops. There we go. Oh, and you know what? We can't we can't donate that guy. We can donate the the guy that we have in our our hold. We can donate to a castle at least. So let's go to the castle. We'll get a little bit of relations that way. And dungeon donate. Get out of here. Four and we get four influence. Oh, it doesn't give us influence uh, or relations gain. I thought it was supposed to give you relations gain. Interesting. Are there any mods in this playthrough? So we're mostly just using two. So we're using better time so we can speed up the campaign map a little faster. And we're using RTS mods so we can speed up in battles a little faster. But other than that, no, not really. There's nothing that changes the gameplay. I'm just trying to speed it up because, uh, you know, time time is money at this point. So all that grindy stuff, I, I'm trying to speed up. Now we could probably start hunting nobles, although we, we do need to level up some of these low tier guys. Oh, yeah. Here's the loot pinatas. <laughs> we found them. We found them. they're fat. Oh man, they're fast. Okay, let's let's slow this down and we'll we'll trap them in here then. All right, they got nowhere to go. We're using the arrow keys to control our guy. Yeah, they know there's nowhere to go, so they're just gonna go back and forth. Oi, sorry, I don't think I know you. So somebody said that that is a Welsh accent. Interesting. I guess it is. I don't know. Did you join the Southern Empire just as a vassal? Yeah, or no, sorry, just as a mercenary for now. We haven't become a vassal just yet. Warrior, right, what do they have? I think they have only the Hidden Hand troops. Yeah, so we can just move our, our archers at the front of the line. Loose formation. Let them do their thing, moving. and then this should be GG. We'll just speed fight this one. Oh, they're not coming. Okay. Move well, out. Let's move up and shoot them. Moving. Didn't expect him to simp for Regea. <laughs> we haven't even met Regea yet, so we can't simp. Bowmen, forward, move. Although, if they have a good empire, we might join. We might join the Southern Empire. I'm not sure yet. That's something we got to figure out. Archer, onward. Let's get, get a little move, closer move so everybody can shoot. Why are you not shooting? All right, it's a turkey shoot. They can't really do anything. Yeah, easy peasy. 
That'll be another one we can take. Yeah, we're going to take him prisoner and donate him again. We'll take the influence. Ooh, nice. We got better mittens. Now, decrease taken range uh, from range attack. Let's actually, you know what? I still. Which one's more expensive? The phalanx? Yeah, we should probably put that and uh, just do the. Uh, we, we should probably join our, our shield wall. R was the true cranium cavalry. Yeah. All right, let's. Um, yeah, we still didn't gain any. Well, yeah, I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Let's let's donate this guy to a town. See if the town. Usually, we get relation for doing that too. If we donate prisoners. Oh, there we go. So it worked on that one. It's interesting. It didn't do it for the castle. So uh, there's got to be some something with the. Maybe there's a bug in their code. You should be able to get relation no matter what. But And we're going to keep this guy. We definitely don't want to give away an elite cataphract if we can. We could start looking for a wife. I think that would be something we should probably do soon. Uh, what do we have to get rid of? We'll keep the banner. I don't know which one we're going to use it, actually. I think we should probably hang on to it just in case. Get rid of everything else. Hey, we got a sex bot. I was going to say, I haven't seen him in a while. It means, I was going to say, the channel's going downhill. We, we have no sex bots in our chat. <laughs> we got him back, though. We got him back. That's so funny. All right. Uh, nice to see a percentage on the banners. Yeah, I know. Instead of doing it in like decibel format. Wait, what are we at? We're at level 10. Not that it matters. Yeah, I, I do want to do a couple auto-resolve against maybe some bandits so we can get those lower tier guys leveled up. It's kind of hard to do it in battle, so let's... Oh, they want to join. Nah. No thanks. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, this is probably going to be made into a video. This is annoying as crap, dude. We just lost two of our best archers to a group of five bandits. I mean, this is absolutely pathetic, man. Tail Worlds, fix your freaking game, man. That is so dumb. All right. I'm a little triggered right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get past it, but man, that's so annoying. All right, well, it is what it is. All right, moving on. I guess we're going to fight that in person from now on. Oh, look who it is. I don't know you. Oh, your you freaking helmet is so ugly, and you need to get your teeth fixed, man. You should put, like, uh, the jewels for your front teeth. What the hell are you wearing? I mean, I get it. It's expensive. It's rich, but you look like a, do like a dork. Uh, what do you need? We need types and their forces to go through the and lands and raid the villages. It's probably not going to happen because... This war's been going on a very long time. They're for sure they're gonna they're gonna sue for peace soon. So yeah, Regea. I mean, she's got the money. She should just buy a grill, right? Just get a grill, cover them up. All right, let's max out our horses because we're gonna need upgrades for these these cab that we're gonna be hiring. Actually. The charger is the war mount. We should probably hire some of those because we're going to need them. Opes, thank you so much. Another donation. I appreciate it. Marry her, max chin, max teeth length. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine max chin and teeth? She should look like a, like a rabbit with a giant chin. I don't think we're allowed to marry her though, right? I think she has to marry somebody that's not the leader of their, of their clan. All right, let's take two more... I think we should just go back to raiding. Actually, you know what? Let's let's. Uh, see, look at. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. If we took that quest, we would immediately failed it right now, and we would lose relation and whatever with her. I had a feeling that that was gonna happen, but kind of crappy that it did happen. So, yeah, we still we're still making money. Yeah. Can you still smash though? That would be interesting, right? 
Okay, now we got to figure out what we're going to do here. So we still have some influence we got to burn. We don't want to just throw money away. But let's check out the other Empire Kingdoms. So the North is at war with, ooh, Kazate and Western. So they would pay good money. And what about the Western Empire? They're at war only with the Northern. So let's go to be, let's vassalize, or let's be a mercenary with the North. Like I said, we want to get up to 100k before we before we become a vassal instead of being a mercenary. All right, north. See if we can find some of these guys. All right, there's somebody. Oh boy, look at that, 1800. Here come the horsey boys. How many how many horses is that, anyways? Oh. 832 horse archers. That is painful to look at. Oh, that's so disgusting. How many cons guard do they have? Only 16 cons guard. Okay, that's that's fine. But yeah, that's that's disgusting, man. I don't even want to know what that battle is going to turn out to look like. All right, so they're coming to siege. Uh, let's see. We're making 500 dinars. Let's wait one more day i think and then we'll we'll switch allegiance we don't need to go all the way down to, to zero influence we can give up a few because we're going to get five for free anyways every anytime you join as a, a mercenary they just give you for free they give you a couple bucks so yeah see like right now we're at eight that's fine we'll just dump it all right so regalia sorry we're not simping not this now time then. come no closer Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. Is it Adam? I would ask you for your name. I, I would like to speak to the designer of this uh, armor. I feel like that is probably a vulnerability that can be taken advantage of, right? Imagine getting stabbed in your Adam's apple because the idiot didn't cover your neck. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's discuss. They should be paying us more, too. Yeah, 210 because they're at war with two people. So... All right, let's do it. So, Kazate and at war with the West. I don't really feel like messing with horse archers, so let's go back this way. Yeah, see, the, the problem with dropping the mercenary contract is we won't have any income. See, like, we'd have to pay almost 600, and we don't even have all of our troops upgraded. Once we get these guys upgraded more, it's going to be even worse. Ooh, nice. We got the, the elite cataphract. So we'll do that. Let's dump a, a recruit. Yeah, if we can collect some cavalry that way, that'd probably be the easiest way to do it, but, you know. We'll make do. Alright, what are we doing down here? We could raid, but these are pretty small. Yeah, these are really small. Actually, is there a way... I'm wondering what type of troops we need to upgrade here. So we need to get the, the Vizsla, these guys. Let's do it. We're, we're going to have our archers hold fire. I want to get those guys upgraded before we start doing big fights. So uh, Let's give goods. We probably won't lose too much here, so I think we'll be in good shape. Footmen, hear me! Arrows! Forward! Pass onward! Infantry! Make a shield wall! Warriors! We do have more archers than them. As soon as their archers are dead, we're gonna hold fire. Actually, let's just hold fire right now. Alright, let's charge. Get in there, get some XP, some of them will die. No biggie. Alright, what upgrades we got? So we lost two recruits, no big deal. Oh, nice, the Vigla. That's the, the, the Vigla. That's what we want to upgrade. We want to get more cav. A little bit more movement speed is gonna help us a lot. And let's replace the losses. I think we can. No, we need to. We need to hold them because they're they're gonna they're just gonna suck. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep them together. All right, what do we got? Bunch of grain. Take our two recruits and we'll move on. So that that worked out pretty well. Let's do it again. This should be low. Yeah, only sixteen. So like I said, we're. We just need to get... Actually, let's do... Uh, have him give us food. Attack! Arrows! 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 Arrows!
Full fire, let's get Warriors. infantry, yeah. Just charge them in, don't really matter. We could separate out the high tier, but it's kind of a pain in the neck. Infantry and it may out. not even work that well, so move. we'll just leave them together and hope that the low tier guys get actual kills. Get moving. Right, what are they doing here? Give them hell. Right, they're gonna split themselves, that's fine. Yeah, should be an easy battle. That's fine. Let's speed this up a little bit. Have him shoot. Alright, we lost. Oh no. <laughs> We're trying to not lose these guys, and they, they're the ones the only ones that are dying. Oh, they're so useless. Yeah, we got one more that needs to be upgraded still. That's fine. We'll take the free food. Let's do it again. Like I said, we want to get a few cav. We're going to need the mobility because pretty soon we're going to go on this little peninsula right here. And then we're going to get like 40 or 50 renown for doing those battles. Actually, speaking of renown, we're not too far from clan tier 3. But he's a little muscular. Hold up. I don't remember making him that muscular. Yeah, some, something went wrong there. He's supposed to be, he's supposed to be like maybe a little fat and no, uh, no muscle. Something like that. <laughs> his his nose profile matches his belly profile. That's kind of funny. All right, let's let's go ahead and have them give us some stuff again. Charge! Like I said, we'll we'll actually. They'll be far behind, they'll advance, they probably won't get much, but... Can you edit age anytime you want? Yeah, you can. With the with the character reloader mod, we're not going to edit any of that stuff. In, uh, not, not for this campaign, this is going to be, like, unmodified. Does this repetitive guess get boring after a while? It does, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game. we got to get to the next stage. We're, we're not far. Pretty soon we're going to be doing um, a lot more... I was going to say risky battles, but they probably won't be that risky. Oh, wow, we lost a lot. Holy crap, dude. All of our Vigla died. They're freaking wasted time. Yeah, we're just going to ignore them now. Okay, we'll, we'll upgrade these two. They'll be Cav. <laughs> oh, man, they're so stupid. It's such a bad unit, man. I, I really don't like using those guys. That's why usually I get the cav from uh, prisoners. I just recruit them as prisoners, but yeah, it's fine. All right, we did get a Midlands Palfrey. That's what we want. Yeah, only disorganized. We're not uh, dealing with any of the, the hurt penalty or anything. Ooh, Benny's allowed. So they're scared of us. And yeah, we need to recruit up again. Let's Let's go do that. And actually, how are we looking on horses? So, Swimpters don't count. These do. So we've got 55. And we've got, I think, only 3 cap plus us is 4. So we need 64. So yeah, we need to buy these. We could buy a Contarian Charger. We don't want to spend our money, though. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's good. That'll give us close to max movement speed for, for the size that we have. Okay, now we're going to go do something a little bit more risky. But th we don't want that guy to chase. We don't want that guy to chase. Is everybody going to chase us? Yeah, see, look at this. This is a huge battle. All right, here we go. So let's take recruits. We'll go above limit. Hostile action, give recruits, because we're going to lose a lot of people here. So this is 135 versus 70. It's still going to be a win for us. Oh, and you know what? We need to, we need to change. Wait, what does our banner do? Decreased range damage taken. So that's going to go on our, our phalanx. That'll go on our front line. Uh, what are we going to do here? Let's, let's, at least, let's just hold the river. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. And let's have our archer line. 
I was going to split into two, but we just don't have enough people to do that yet. I, I think we just keep them as one for now. Keep it simple. Uh, let's keep them... Okay, here, here's what we're going to do. We'll do a big line right here. Okay, we don't want guys in the back. There we go. All right, and then these guys are going to stand in the river, in the water. And I'm hoping to draw them into the water, slow them down. Oh, we do have a cab. I forgot we have some cabs, so we can use these guys to distract as well. So we'll keep them in reserve. All right, here we go. We're good. Tin and blade. <laughs> I like that. All right, 94 versus our 35. So we're going to have to do some retreat. Actually, let's go line formation. We're going to need to uh, move fairly quickly here. So, And we will sacrifice our cap here if we have to. Let's get them over there. They're going to go run through the archer line. All right, infantry move back again. We'll just keep slow, slowly moving them back as we need to. And we'll be pulling them away this way so that they're exposing their, their backs. Now, if you do it too quick, they're going to peel off and go for the archers. All right, Cav, we need to charge because they're going to get shot at right here. All right, here we go. So keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. We can move the archer line to face it a little bit more perpendicular. And distract them a little bit. And we'll pull these guys back to a spot where they can't really get enveloped. So they're, they're going to have less of a chance of being flanked here because, you know, obviously it's a little bit more narrow. Alright, so let's spread out the shield wall here. Let's distract these guys so we can get there. Archers are still doing their thing. I think they're doing okay. They're going to destroy these archers at least. Oh, never mind. They're grouping up. Okay, we need to back up a little bit. And we lost all of our cav. That's unfortunate. Right, infantry will charge because they basically destroyed that that group. Right, let's pull these archers back. Looks like they're struggling a little bit. Uh, they're getting caught. That's why. They're getting caught by these, these melee guys. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's not go down. We don't want to die. Why did you go... Oh, these archers are so stupid. I didn't... <laughs> They're so stupid. I never told them to go up there. Like, I'm literally giving them the, the, the command to move back, and they ran forward. Why would you do that? Alright. Uh, let's just have them... Well, we don't want them to charge. We want them to... Just shoot. Alright, we're gonna lose all our archers here because they're so dumb. I don't understand why they did that. Let's at least distract them. Uh, ca can this catch Lance? It cannot, I don't think. Or maybe we can't get... You, you have to reach a certain speed. We may not be able to reach that speed, so... Oh, man. Yeah, we can't hit... We can't hit beams with this thing. Alright, we did win. We took some losses. Not really the losses I wanted to take. But look at that. Six Palatine Guard. That is really, really, really dumb. Oh, man. Okay, well, we got to rethink this. We did get 12 Renown. Not Actually, not, not as much as I was thinking it was going to be. So let's let's get some more archers. Upgrade these guys. And we lost our cab, too. Okay, so all of our cab died. <laughs> and because we don't have any medicine skill, we you know, they're not getting injured. They're just flat out dying. Uh, on the bright side, we have one Fian champion. So we did lose a Fian as well. We had... Two, I believe, and we lost one there. So overall, that was not a good battle for us. Hmm. Form the form the chin wall to protect the archers. That would have been good. Alright, we do need to recruit quite a few here. Yeah, I don't think that was worth it actually. Twelve for twelve renown. I feel like we'd be better off fighting another noble. Losing a few more troops, but getting like two or three times the, the renown. Uh, what are we looking at here? 223 versus... Uh, so we need 350, so we still have a ways to go. Uh, let's see if we can find some stragglers. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's nobles here. Can we... Maybe we can bait him out. No, I guess not. They probably have a small party. Yeah, 32 and 25, so it's it's not big enough to come out and contest. 900 troops, that's a big battle. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. And they're still at war with Kazate. Uh, let's let's head south, see if we can find some of their, their nobles or, or mercenary. The mercenary ones are good because they'll respawn with like 30 or 40 troops, and that's a, a pretty easy battle for us. Yeah, I would like to not have to fight just militia for, you know, three or four hours. Uh, we're not a vassal, we're a mercenary still, because we need to make money. If we switch to a vassal now, we're not going to have any cash, any cash flow, actually. This one's 49 troops. I don't think we can draw them out, but we'll see. Uh, no, we're... We're part of the Northern Empire right now, just, just temporarily. All right, let's keep moving. Actually, even caravans would be decent, but they're they're going to be hard for us to catch. What do they have here? 85. That's that's a big enough party. That'll come out. For sure that'll come out after us. Let's see if we can bait them out. Yep, here they come. All right, let's let's lure them into the woods. Oh no, we're so helpless. Please don't attack us. We're just a little bit faster than them. So let's go daytime and then we'll fight. All right, what upgrades do we have? We do not have any. The the 20 militia or the 20 recruits does give me a little bit of concern. They've got 30 infantrymen and 20 trained infantrymen. So their infantry line is actually quite strong. But we have better we have better range units. There, so I think I think this is the battle we can win. Yeah, very, it's very even, but I think because we have a, a human brain we can we can do it. Uh, Strat, have you ever raged at a game? Oh yeah, all the time. I, I try not to do it on in recordings. Because <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. I mean maybe once in a while it's funny, but yeah, you don't want to hear that stuff, so I usually just edit it out. It's usually me just like uh saying what the F and then uh, getting up and walking away. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's figure out what we're going to do here. This looks pretty appealing. It's it's not a very big hill, but I guess it's better than not having a hill. Over there would be pretty good too. Actually, that's that's going to be it right there. Let's, let's get over there. Alright, everybody over here. 300 distance. We got plenty of room. They have two horse archers. We'll be able to get in a position, I think, before they're here on us. Let's get all our archers up here. Melee troops in front. Oh no, they have... <laughs> they have the, the sword sisters. We're doomed. We're doomed. The worst unit in the game. I mean, not worse, but you know what I mean. They're pretty bad. Oh, yeah. That's about as well as we expected, right? Oh, because she has no helmet, she took one right to the eyeball. Oh, is she gonna die like that? Oh, that's legit. Look at that. That's a screenshot for you. All right, here I'm gonna I'm gonna get a good screenshot of this. Hold on, let me turn off my uh, HUD. Infantry. Oops. Oh, the spear's too long. Something like that. All right, I got it. All right, back to work. <laughs> Dang, that is so cool. I like that. All right, how are we doing? Some archers aren't shooting. Let's scoot them forward a little bit so they can all get in on the action. We're going to need every every bit we can get here. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little bit different here. Oops, no, you guys are good. Just keep shooting. Let's get into a nice tight formation right in the middle, and hopefully they curl around the outside of these. All right, let's charge. Archers, I'm, I'm hoping the archers can shoot around their flanks. That's that's what I'm really hoping for. And they're going to go after archers, but oh, we took a big hit there. That's not good. Stab. Stab, Charles. Use your chin. 
Did we lose our infantry? No, we didn't. We're still, I think, in decent shape here. All right, archers should be able to rain down on their flanks. Yeah, we got it. Okay, we that was that was a good move then. It worked out. All right, now we got to deal with their archers. Let's actually keep the infantry still so they don't like turn around and get shot in the back. And we should be able to we should be able to outshoot their archers. I didn't see anything high high tier there. All right, let's speed this up so we can dunk on them. Uh, let's give the charge command with the archers because they're not really hitting anything. Oh yeah, we, we got pretty nasty losses here, but it's kind of expected. Wait, why are we still losing troops? I don't understand that. We just lost a bunch when it was like a 20 or a 30 on, on 5. Alright, so 12 renown. <laughs> Alright, our losses are infantrymen, 8 legionary. That's rough. We, we want to build that back up for sure. Uh, 2 palatine guard. That's not too bad. Mostly recruits and a little bit of the other stuff. So, not too bad. Yeah, losing the legionary is a bit painful, but, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. So, we're gonna take him prisoner, and what can we take from here? Yeah, we don't really want any of these, because these are really bad. The elite mercenary macemen. Yeah, well, they're really expensive, though. I was gonna say, we could just use them. You know what we could do is, we could recruit some of these... Or should we do tier two? Let's do tier three. Yeah, that'll help supplement the guys that we lost, and that'll give them a little bit of a head start. Yeah, we could sell them as prisoner. We we could do that actually. They're they're actually worth quite a bit. You're right. Let's do that. And we lost a few archers there, so let's let's replace our archers. Oh, we got a fiend champion now. Nice. And we should have a little bit of an upgrade here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a few things that are better. Not not much. Can we even use a Midlands Palfrey? No, we can't. Okay, well, there goes that idea. You know, let's let's take some javelins. We're we're probably gonna miss, and we're probably gonna do no damage with it, but that's fine. All right, twenty eight troops left. We got to heal up. Quite a bit. We we really don't want to get get caught here because we're, you know, really injured. Oh, nice peace. So we can we can just chill now. Let's go to Poros. And we'll take some troops. Cut those guys up. I think we're yeah we're gonna be probably in herd penalty. Yeah, but that's fine. I don't want to sell these guys because we're going to be recruiting people right now anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. This is all junk. We already upgraded that. And we could probably upgrade our sword. I don't see anything else better here, so let's sell that. 14k. That's not bad at all, actually. So we're at almost 70k. Almost to the point where we can become a, a, a vassal and do it safely. And we still we're making good money too. Eight hundred and forty wages are only four hundred, so we're we're still making money. Let's uh let's go recruit up to max again. And then we do have prisoners to convert. They'll do that slowly, and because we only have one type of troop, it's gonna convert them faster. Oh no, uh, I'm an idiot. We need to get rid of the prisoners. My bad. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Yep. Absolutely right. All right, and we don't want to sell everybody. We just want to keep these guys. So let's get rid of these. 152. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but not by much. Food-wise, we're good. We're still... Yeah, I, th I think we're good here. Let's just, uh, let's just keep recruiting. Yeah, almost to max again. Yeah, those... I was... I, I was hoping those prisoners would be worth more, but I guess not. Usually I only keep them if they're like tier 5 or tier 6. But I guess in that case, those tier 3 were basically garbage. Alright, let's get rid of some of these recruits. And everybody's in order. We're good. And these guys are recruiting pretty slow. I, I thought they might recruit a bit faster than that, but that's fine. 
Now, Argrun's being sieged. Uh, I don't think we can do anything about it. We don't want to fight against horse archers. We just lost a bunch of our archers ourselves. So we're going to need we're going to need some more archers to help counter them. So I guess that begs the question, what are we doing now? We don't want to go to war with them. How are these other empire kingdoms doing? The west, they're not at war. Southern empire, and then we are part of the north. So everybody's at peace now. Uh, any mods? So we're using the RTS camera mod and the better time mod. We're only stuff that speed up the game during the slow grindy parts. So other than that, no. Not not really. If we had a mod that would increase the, our chin size, I would definitely do it, but this is as big as I can get it. So if you, you can go in here and like edit appearance and enter the chin. <laughs> chin is maxed out. Oh, chin length. We can get our chin length a little more. I, I left a little bit on the table. And chin forward? We can go a little more. Interesting. All right. I think that's that's <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Yeah, we want a nice sleek jawline because we don't want to take the emphasis away from our chin. Everything's got to go towards the chin, man. Mouth forward, thick lips. Yeah, we want nice thick lips. Do we want a frowning or you? We can give him a little smile. He's happy to be a Habsburg, right? There we go. All right, so his chin is a little bit more chin now. So that's good. All right, we are capped out. We should probably train up these guys. That's, I think, what we need to do next. Hmm. Actually, we hit. I was only planning on doing a two-hour stream today. We're already at three, so I think I think we're probably gonna cut it here. Let me save. And just so you know, every time I end a, a recording, I'm gonna be saving. So this is two, two Habsburg. Oh, that is not a number two. We're doing Habsburg math here. All right, Habsburg two. So we're not we're not loading up. We're just saving them in case we we crash. But uh, like I said, I'll, I'll end up turning these into a, a Let's Plays. So I think that's that's going to do it. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. They have big brain math. <laughs> it's not the math, it's the arithmetic that screws me up, right? The math is no problem. The arithmetic, I just use a calculator. <laughs> uh, are there still problems with renown and influence? I think Lasan said it was fixed, right? Yeah. Cool. So that was a fun one, actually. I, I had a lot of fun with this one. I Last time I tried it, I did something a little different, and it was kind of a little bit more of a grind. This one seems a lot better, so we'll, we'll continue this one. Like I said, anytime we get to the part where it requires a lot of grind, I'll probably do it off stream, and then it'll it'll end up in the, the Let's Play on the second channel, but I think this is, this is a good place to stop. That's three hours. I still got to get a lot of editing done, so I'm going to do that right now. But uh, hopefully that was fun for you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. I had a lot of donations this time. I uh, really appreciate everybody with the support. And thanks for everybody for showing up and, and watching the stream. It, uh, it was a fun one. And I will probably start... Oh, Hero, what's up, man? I didn't see you in here. It, it works now? Okay, so they did fix it. Good, 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 good. Um, what I was going to say is I'm going to start streaming at least three times a week. I'll probably try and push that up to four or five times per week. I'm going to be doing a lot more streaming so I can get these recordings. These recordings are going to go on the second channel as a Let's Play. And then on the main channel, I'm going to turn these into like one big video. So it's going to be like a big recap campaign video with a ton of editing and all that stuff. So yeah, we're, we're, going, to, we're going to pick up the pace on streaming. We'll be putting out a lot more content for everybody. But the content that I'm putting out is either going to be like very little to no editing or just an extreme amount of editing. So if, if you're looking for those highly edited videos, main channel is where it's going to be at. If you're looking for more laid back, kind of like, like this stuff, but cutting out the chat and all that stuff, it'll be on the second channel. So anyways, I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It'll probably be tomorrow or Tuesday. I'll let you know. I got to make a, a stream schedule and I'll let you guys know. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good afternoon. Later.